going on? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your boy T Pendel. Uh, appreciate y'all rocking me. Smash the like button, subscribe, don't forget to turn notifications on. Episode two of my uh, Pop the Balloon to Find Love is out right now. Episode three drops tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe to the main channel and you have a notification turned on. We're gonna do a quick minute, minute rant. So if you want to skip to the start of this video, go to like to a minute or a minute 30, 90 seconds in. Appreciate all the love and the support. I had my first, my, my only match of episode one of my own Pop the Balloon to Find Love channel. I did like a a, a recap slash catch up to them, and you know what I'm saying they was BS. You know, which happens a lot here. But y'all let me have it in the comment section. Boy, oh boy, y'all let me have it. Listen, guys, I get it, man. I get it. Guys, it's hard for y'all to enjoy two things at once or enjoy something more and, and still enjoy something else, maybe a little less. But work with me. Stop with the dramatics and their hater aid. It does not affect me. Y'all, people, you can say whatever you want. I've been, I've been doing social media. I've been working on doing YouTube videos and creating content full time for a decade. Full time. Ain't nobody tell me when to pee, when to go poop, when I can go on vacation. I've been doing this. Editing, creating, running shit, setting up shit, filming, breaking it down, breaking it up, all of that. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I love this show, man. It's a phenomenal job. I said this 120 times. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got to chill. Y'all got to chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can, can say what y'all want about me, but not the other guests and other cast. Y'all getting a little bit rude. Y'all getting a little bit raunchy. A lot of y'all would never have the courage to even step on a set like this. A lot of y'all single at home, lonely, but would not, don't, not even comfortable with yourself to step on camera. So y'all give these people a hard time. I'm cracking jokes. I'm cracking. Shout out to the castmates. Some, some of the people who repost my stuff, reach out to me. Some of y'all follow on Instagram. It's all love. This is jokes at the end of the day. There's some truth in it, but it's jokes. I'm having a good time. I don't, I don't wish no ill will against none of these folks, man. It's all love. It really is. Because it's entertainment. But some of y'all going too, much, too far and doing too much. You know what I'm saying? This is a great show. I told y'all, even doing research on the Pop the Balloon shit, this shit been going on since like 2019, 2020. You know what I'm saying? Arlette is, is friends. This is top tier. I love that y'all even be like, yo, you trying to do this and do that. The fact that y'all comparing me to this is amazing. You know what I mean? This is this is the everything. The, the, the cast, the crew, it, it's me, guys. I'm sending out emails. I have 14 people supposed to show up, seven show up. This shit ain't no joke. So my hat's off for a tremendous... I know what goes into it on the back end. Pause. Um, big, 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 big pause on that. So um, with that being said, we're going to get into it. We're going to rock and roll. This show right here, this pop alone, this is this is friends. This is friends. You know what I'm saying? But there, there were living singles before this. And I don't mean Living Single was a phenomenal show. I don't want to say because a lot of y'all be like, oh, but the gist was doing it. It was childish is based. There's too much sex going on. We'll do living single was a, a phenomenal show, but Friends was done on a bigger scale and a bigger audience and a bigger budget. That's what this is. It's it, it has been done before. You know what I mean? I y'all, I, I, y'all, I hate to break it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? But that's what that is. So we're going to get into this reunion, which is a, a great idea. I was waiting for it to drop. Sorry, I'm dropping, jumping on a day late. But even if I follow some of these people on Instagram and then follow me, yo, you going to react to the reunion? Big what reunion? It's supposed to drop tomorrow. Oh, shit. Thanks for the hits up. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into it. Y'all tighten up now. Tighten up. Because a lot of y'all talking crazy. And I know just from doing what I do and standing the way I stand that y'all would not say half of this shit to me. <laughs> I just fucking, I know it. I know it. You know it. And hats off to everybody that's a part of this and a part of all of these Pop the Balloon chants, uh, uh, Fine Loves, whether it's here, hers, Jamaican edition, anybody edition, the gist, the kids that's doing it. It takes courage to put yourself out there and be on camera. A lot of y'all don't even post. Y'all got 12 pictures on Instagram because you don't like how you look. These people are broadcasting themselves to the world. That's it on the rant. Damn, I went three minutes in. I lied and said a minute and a half. Let's get this shit started. And I'm drinking a mimosa. I got, I got back up for the mimosa. We on it popping today. No shades, because I want y'all to see my face. Besos. Yeah, we back up in this thing. It's a whole reunion. Let me get some red juice. I call that shit communion. Showing backstage, backstage with the light drop. Two and three people backstage. Put the lights on. Let them walk through the door. Who coming up, bitch? No slow mo. Reunion off of in it, bitch. They want your boy to freestyle. She got a whole hat on. She got that damn thing. She look like Bubba Sparks. Yeah, he coming through here. Uber driver. He a lift driver. He a driver driver. I see you. You, you lose a weight like every damn week. I should high fire. Locks ain't even growing, but the bitch still looks super fresh. Coming through, coming through. Yeah, I like that necklace. He got two chains on, but they ain't even close to being two chains. She got the red dress on. She used to have that shit on brown. He got the brown on, and she coming through with a V neck drop. And she got the bottom drop. And she sure it don't stop. My nigga turns back. What the hell is you freaking doing, bro? Where's your mess? I just gotta stay on Terrence, though. She got the paint with the silk. Dad go the damn host. She doing the damn most. She got the mic, get a toast. 
I done turned this whole joint into a roast. Hello, everyone. Yeah, Welcome sir. back Cheers. to my Salute. channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are here today yeah. with our very first season one Pop the Balloon or Find Woo! Love Reunion. Yeah. Look at it. Like that. You know we got to pause it. So she must say, y'all y'all wear what y'all want because he, he got his thighs out. He said, I'm going to wear these hoochie daddies and I'm going to wear mismatched socks and I'm going to show y'all that I got personality. So he said, I'm more than, than a dog, watch a dog, catch a dog, trainer. You know what I'm saying? The, the Uber driver, Lyft driver, he came through. He got these Steve Madden's on. Them, them shit about a buck ten, buck twenty with tax. My dog said, what I won't do is show up without my empty briefcase. You got me messed up. I'm coming on hot with that. Y'all should have set her little mini me ass up front for she ain't just vanished because she's so little. Feet dangling. Get her a booster seat. You know what I'm saying? We in it, man. Terrence got a retwist. He, he smiled. Terrence, you always smiling, bro. You, you bring joy, bro. Blessings and grace and peace beyond all y'all. Big up yourself. I've, I've, been, I've been doing too many pop the balloon reactions on the Jamaican vibes. I didn't, I've been speaking patois the last two days, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't been good either. It's been terrible. Follow me on the gram, IGT Pendel. Let's go. All right. So before we get started with anything, because we got a lot of juicy topics to Juice. hit. Juice. I know y'all are ready. Hold on. What you, what you thought you had? What you thought you got this sailboat on your head? You know when you in, in grade school and you make them hats out of paper? You got this red sailboat on top of your head, man. What you came on with? Y'all both say, I'm going to wear this lady. I'm going to wear this red. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got these prom rentals on, man. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and bring out someone who is near and dear to my heart, my own husband there you go the I, I was waiting for this boy to get some shine this man to get some shine no disrespect i'll wait for him to get some shine sir of the show bs oh that's so welcome sweet to the very first reunion of hey shout out to bm man shout out you know you know what it is bro it's, it's all love it's all love man wish y'all uh even more success man pop the balloon to find love with Ale Amuli. Now this uh, season has been a great, it's been a great one. Um, I just wanted to say a few things before we started. First of all, I want to say I want to say thank you to Jesus Christ for blessing us with everything. Thank you, God, for giving us the courage to keep going, to keep doing what we're doing. We praise your name every single day. Lord, we lift your name up. Now I want to thank my beautiful, beautiful wife, Ale. She has done a phenomenal job. She has been absolutely amazing. She has just, she surprises me every day. Hey. And she is just great at what she does. As you can see, the way that she presents. Hold on now, hold on, hold on, hold on now, hold on now. I ain't missing out on nothing. If y'all, I mean, ain't missing out on Y'all been waiting for this, here we go. She has just. She, she got these kitten heels on. I ain't even peep the kitten heels. I don't know how I miss these kitten heels. She surprises me every day. If you don't stop shaking these toes, I'm, I'm blocking these toes. These toes been wiggling. These little piggly wiggly yeah. been wiggling right here. And she is just great at what she does. But this right here, as you can see, the, this right, am I blocking this shit again? Let me get over here. These toes right here, the green joints in the corner right here, this toe ain't, is not fitting. It's not fitting in there. And it's not in the manuscript. See, the way that she Look. presents the show, Come the way on, that she now. Asks questions. And the way that she you got that you got that shoe choking the hell out of them toes like that them toes tapping out. She's in the middle, she's never taking any sides. She is absolutely wonderful. She's a great mother to a mother. Man, where neither. you from, Maryland? Mother, Hi, brother. Mama. You see us. You, 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 you. And um, I just cannot ask for anything more from her. She's just delivering the show fantastically. So great. And, Pull up um, I'm pretty sure everyone that's watching at home Pull up sees the type of time that she has and and how much people follow her because of her great hosting skills. So I want to give a round of applause to her because she's done an absolute yeah. amazing job. Come on with this damn intro, man. Damn, well, you act like y'all was at y'all at the altar and you sang your vows and shit, man. Wrap this thing up, man. She do, she, she good. That girl good. Now let's get into this damn thing. I got my head to make me another mimosa. Next, I want to thank everyone that's came on the show. So everybody that's came on the show, even the people that's not here, all the contestants that came on the show to come to the studio with the cameras, facing people that you never met, being put on the spot, it's not an easy thing. Told so I want to say thank you to everyone for coming here, trying to find love, unpop the balloon and find love with Ale Amoli. It has been a great experience for a lot of you. And I know that um, some people have found love and of the ones that haven't, we will always try again. <laughs> <laughs> but you will find love one day for sure. Next, I want to say thank you 
to my team, my production team, everyone here that sets up the studio. I want to thank Dan for helping us set up for, um, for the studio and the lighting. Everything that we do here is hard work, you know, from the recruiting to filming to the editing. And, you know, it's, it's something that is not easy to do. But the fact that we finally, we have a formula now, we, we now know what goes where and how we do stuff. So it's amazing to see the team growing as it's growing. So I want to say thank you to my whole team. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, I want to say thank you to everyone that reacts to our videos, even if it's on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Thank Respect. you. Yeah, yeah. We see you. And uh, we definitely uh, appreciate your time and effort. So yeah. thank you. And I also want to say thank you to everybody that watches the show. Everybody that comments, everybody that likes, that shares, that goes and you know talks to people about the show. People well, will be messaging us that they have conversations about the show, you know, when they're eating dinner or you know when they just uh, their friends come over. So it's a, it's amazing to see that the people that um, are, that the people that are following us, you know, are tuned in to our episodes. So thank you all so much for watching this show, and we we are very grateful for your time that you put in to support our show. So thank you for all the support. Let's have a round of applause for the people. <laughs> The people, people, are now, you obviously, you've seen that the channel has gone over 100,000 subscribers, which is amazing. And um, YouTube did send us um, our plaque, so hey, bring your plaque out, man. And another thing, bro, y they got like six or seven of these videos that went over a million views. So, as far as the viewership and the fans, y'all need to do a better job of subscribing to these people's channel. It helps out the algorithm. It brings more people in. It helps them do even better. Viewing is cool, but there's no way that they're consistent smacking a million views with these videos and only a tenth of the people are subscribed. That's crazy work. And y'all y'all get annoyed when people be like, like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Like, yo, stop telling us what to do. But y'all, 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 that's what y'all should do. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all should do. Y'all should be liking, subscribing, commenting. It helps the algorithm out. They will be even bigger. Talking about they just hit 100K. Seven out of 10 popped the balloons over a million views. Subscribe. I think this is the best time to present it to my wife. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, That's what's up bro. That's what's up. And then, I don't think a lot of y'all be knowing what's going on. Let me, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. All right, well, thank That's you a so much for those amazing That's a 100K. That's a 100K. Okay, That's a 100K. That's a 100K. Hey! Yeah. Put some respect on my name, right, bro. Go ahead Put and some respect on my name. Amazing season one went. Here's a little recap. I'm not new to this. I do, I'm true to this. Respect. I just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have. Um, first, you're short, and I'm a tall girl. That's crazy. I like That's six wild. foot and up. That's crazy. Two, That's I wild. do dress. She hates. If you she were to skate. go ahead and take her out on a date, well, where would you take her? Would... This was this was this was the most disappointing one. When she came on there, you could tell she wasn't just feeling him talking about something. Where the bag is at? You talking about you had the bag? I ain't see the bag. Your first date. Uh, to be honest, uh, it's like a rooftop. I'm big on like sunset type of views, but. Uh, so I seen it and I was like, she not gonna take my coconut oil regimen seriously. And shout out to, to her, the girl that had the ashy knee. She had a friend that came on that just was saying none of the guys was a type. Both of them are from down here. They were supposed to come on my joint flake the day before. So to, to, to put this on and get all these people in one spot, it is crazy because people really don't care about your time. People don't care about your efforts. People don't care about your the, what you're investing into booking a studio. They just be like, oh, no, sorry. I'm not, just not going to be able to make it. Sorry. Uh, I got in a car accident. Be at the beach. And, and two hours later on, on a story and they post. Then they be like, but invite me to the next one. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me two times. Now I got to cut you. Uh, Ooh, that really like throw me off the Willy Wonka thing. I don't really like it like that. Damn. Um, I like the, no, no, I mean, I like the dress, the two that's showing okay, right well, here. Okay, the back of your head is ridiculous, sir. Ooh, what, what number on the back of that man head? <laughs> that damn hat. Kind of flat. I mean, if you mean, talking it, about hats, uh, you need I, a hat. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. 
Okay, so Sarji, yes. as we saw no, on the show. No, this could not be the audio. This could not be the audio for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You were telling our very own Terrence that yeah. he... No, what happened? He's not your type. Mm -hmm. There was, a, you know, a few other reasons what you... Did Terrence dirty? Of what you listed, but electricians was the one that sucked to a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> that's what he is. Right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at the okay. clip and, you know, let's see how that uh, situation went down. Um, first, you're short, and I'm a tall girl. Mm -hmm. I like six foot and up. Okay. Two, I don't do dreads. And then your electrician. I'm thinking about, like, businessman, doctor. For, her, for her to have, like, fox like, locks or passion twist or braids, whatever that is, and to say you don't do locks, that's the closest knockoff imitation to that that you have in your head. Come on, that's them going on vacation braids, bro. Stop it, bro. And you used to six foot. Yeah, and that's the thing about it. A lot of these women get on here and be like, I want the fine guy. I want the tall guy. I want the guy that... Y'all ain't. Y'all never have dated that type of guy. That guy might have knocked you down, had sex with you, but y'all have never got that type of guy to wife you up and take you serious. Fellas will be like, I want the baddies on the show. Where are the baddies at? I want more baddies. Alana was okay. Y'all have never been in a relationship with a baddie. You, you might have been trying to blow up a baddie like a bunch of pictures all in her DMs begging her for an opportunity to take her out and spend your money. But you ain't never, you ain't never had no, no baddie be in love with you, be obsessed with you. Stop it. Stop it. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the lakes. That you're used to. Lawyer, because I'm trying to like find a man who could provide for my kids and provide for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What the fuck? I forgot she said that bullshit. Provide for my kids and me? Get a job. Them not even my kids. And I'm never gonna I'm never gonna come before them kids because they not mine. And I wasn't there before them. This I forgot this lineup was cooked. She was cooked. Her hair was cooked. She was cooked. She was really cooked, and then she had a wonderful hair. I really liked her hair, but then I saw her in the earlier episode, like episode one. I was like, oh, that, that's why she cooked, too. I definitely wasn't hard to you, though. No. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So just the attitude. Yeah, and she's not that cute, either. So. Oh, <laughs> oh, not that cute, either. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. Hey, I was got that Hold on. Sergio, just to follow up, Jeez. how is it? How's dating so far going? Have you found that doctor or lawyer yet, girl? Cook, no. You. Oh. Stop fucking lying! I don't even be cursing like that. But they lying. We need black Jesus. Black Jesus. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You cook. Hey, he got cooked. Hey, you didn't go down oh, like that, huh? He got cooked. Oh. The thing is, I feel like once you are confident and you know what you want, you attract oh. what you want. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I feel oh. like I'm not going to just, I don't want to just be with someone, just be with someone. I want a real oh. relationship. I want to like get married, have kids. Okay. And I want a partner that's reliable. And like growing up in an African house. Why you ain't do that with the baby daddy, bro? You got to jit. Why you ain't do that with your father? Kid? Go, you got to spin the blog. You got to go get that man. You already built the family. He already laid the seed off of you, off in the womb. Go get them. Well, there's certain jobs where are respected and certain jobs that are not, mm -hmm. you know? And even though I might respect it, they might not. So I'm like, okay, if I bring this guy home, Bruh. what are they going to say? Who oh, cares what they're going to say? That hasn't been working for you. Your old methods of dating are screwed. This is going to be a long video, guys. I know my family don't like dress. They don't like a person who's working at Go seven. date your family. Get your incest on. I know my family don't like this. I know my family don't like that. You think your daddy killed what his family liked about his, your mama? No. But that's be that woman stuff too. I don't give a damn what my mama like. But I'm bringing home whatever I want to bring home. If I like her, if she got two teeth, then my two teeth. If she got four toes, then my four toes. Look how lady in the rear looking at her. Look how lady in the rear looking at her. Yo, you, you talking crazy right now. You talking crazy? Everybody, look at everybody's face. Look at everybody's face, bro. Even the dog trainer's like, shit. I could, I could just picture him. He won't even train the dog right now. Everybody's face saying you're cooked. 
Everybody in their head, they thinking. It's not, it's not about that. I'm going to bring home who I want to bring home. Just don't be disrespectful to my family and my loved ones. You, you show them respect and they got they going to love you. If I love you, they going to love you. Yeah, feel me? I bring on one of the dog catcher dogs. Oh, he really love that dog. I don't even like dog, but he loved the dog, so we got to love the dog. You know what I mean? Just don't have him on the front yard on the bed. Eleven, they like a guy who's like, they want to brag about someone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'm in the health care. Forever cooked. Forever broiled. Forever rotisserie. Airfield, I want to like marry a doctor or a lawyer who will understand that I'm working those long hours. He wouldn't like complain. Mm. But another guy would not understand because he's not in the same shoe. Who's? You're working long hours. A doctor or a lawyer is working long hours. Who taking care of these kids? Are your kids receiving any love? Look at her face. Nobody believes you. You need more people. Nobody believes this shit. In the chat, in the, not, we're not live. In the comments right now, put a thumbs up if you think she will find a lawyer. If you already commented, that's fine. Leave a separate comment. You can comment as many times as you want. Ain't no rules and regulations on comments. I, it actually is. I think they give you 10. Put a thumbs up if you think she's going to find a lawyer. Put a thumbs down. If you think she's never going to find a lawyer or a doctor or some, some whatever she's looking for. Okay. It might take a little more time for him to, you know, get what I'm saying. I don't understand what you're saying. Nobody understands you right now. Look at the... <laughs> Look at their faces! <laughs> so that's why I said what I said. Okay. Okay. Kind of just to open it up to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, Go ahead, Taylor. Would doctor... Like, would it be bad if a doctor had dreads or can you go more into like maybe so, the prejudice? Like, of okay, basically, I don't know what's the deal. Most like growing up in an African household, we don't like dreads. I don't know why. Locks. So like, yeah, locks or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, exactly. So I don't mind people to say dreads, but if you don't like them, do not say dreads. Do not say dreadful. We're not trying to hear that, fam. We're not trying to hear that. Growing up in an African household, we don't like dreads. But you go put that weave on your head? You go put that synthetic on there? That shit flammable. It's flammable. I never knew why they don't like it, but they don't. For some reason. So now, now it rubbed off, off on you. Now, you. now you was taught that bad thing, and now it's just stuck with you. Now that's your belief, too. Come on, Kitten Hills. No, if because this I remember when I was eighteen, this one guy wanted to marry me, and my dad was like, "Okay, he has dreads." Like they associated with something. It's the madman on the street. Exactly. <laughs> so me. as a child, I learned that, and I was like, "Okay, ooh, I might like him, but he has dreads, and my family mm. might not like accept mm. him." And that's how prejudice starts. That's how racism starts. You feel me? Don't 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 bring home that black guy. They steal. They do this. They do that. Don't bring just the other race. Don't bring home that if it's a Hispanic Hispanic person, whatever slur that is. Don't bring home that if it's a Jewish person. Don't bring home that because they do this. They do that. Parents teach us a lot. Sometimes they teach us some wrong things. When you become an adult, it's up to you to realize what they taught you. If it was right or wrong, or if you want to. Keep pushing that. So what you going? You have a child. You going to push the same narrative to your 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 seed? That's that's terrible. You and, you and the fact that you're sitting next to two people that have locks. You're sitting on a platform one, two, I think three, four, five, six, seven. Two, four, five, two, four, five, two, the six. All almost seventy percent. I would go with sixty. 67, 66, 66% 66 of the people up there have locks. And you talking crazy right now. And as a person, as a black woman, as an African woman, y'all brainwashed, bro. You know. Okay. Man, Watch I how just want to say, though. like, okay. you might want to open your mind up because that's like going to line of like, you people look at you just because you black and just be like, oh yeah, she's like uh, thank you, like Terrence. All the other black girls. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like judging, and you don't want to be doing that. And you kind of want to keep an open mind. Uber driving no kind of too, because you saying you want a doctor. A doctor can 
lose his own hand. He can't use his hand no more. And now you got to take care of that if that's what you want to do. Like, She's you cooked. can't look at what they do. You want to find someone from the inside Gee, instead like of what they do. With anyone you will be with, you have to get ready. Because let's say you pick this perfect person. There'll still something go wrong. Yeah, I know that That's part. life. But, like, I know what I can handle and what I cannot. This is what I have studied throughout my years of, like, dating. I'm like, okay, this works. This does not work. And the thing is, this is what I like. You don't have to like what I like. Oh, yeah, you can sure. like whatever you like, but this is what I prefer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not even what she prefers, though. It's what she was taught. It, it's what, she, what was instilled in her. And sometimes wrong, wrong shit gets instilled in you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people still walk around with that hate in their heart. So anytime you see somebody with locks, you don't, she's not thinking like, oh, I can't date that person. She's probably kind of a little skeezed and a little grossed out off the rip. Like, ooh, you got dread, you gotta watch out for him. She probably putting that shit out to her friends, her kids, child. That's bad business. I kind of wanna know. Mm -hmm. You say like my family this, my family that. Yeah. Me being a person. Right. An adult. Ooh, I value what my family says, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I'm living my life. Mm -hmm. So is this what you think about these things? Or is that That's a great question. really just a family thing? I never really, I don't know. I never thought about that. How you ain't think about that, fam? You grown as hell. How did you not think about that? I, we, I said that already. She said that. Everybody's thinking about that, but you? Uh, Wrap this up, Arlette. Like you never thought about it for yourself, or no, you because the thing is, it's like um, what is the thing? Background, right? It's also like culture. This is just something that's ingrained in you, where you can't really like separate the two. You know what I'm saying? It's something that you become now because mm -hmm. it's what you grew up with knowing. Like when you grew up knowing, okay, this is right, this is wrong, and then someone else tells you. I grew up in a household with domestic violence. I watched men put hands on women and people they shouldn't put their hands on. What? So, so since I grew up around that bullshit BS, is that something I'm going to do now? Because it just seemed to be this is the cool. No. No. As a grown, swole ass man, I know you could cock back and punch me. You could lay me out, knock me out. Oh, oh you got me. I, but there is no way I'm putting my hands on somebody that I love. There is no way. I grew up around that. You know? Sorry, hey, sorry. Sorry this happened. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just that when she do this, she know how to she know the buttons to press on me, and that's why I react like that. No composure. No composure. No, no, no. No control over your emotions. N weak. Weak. The, the people that we even see out here in the streets that we think tough and hard and gangster that go around and just are serial killers low key. They have no control over their emotions. You want to shoot something up? You want to be a gangster? You want to pop it up? Go to war. Go, go jump in the army and get a check for it. You're so big and bad. Go get a check cut. You feel me? They ain't really bought that life. But instead, they do some shit on the block uh, around some neighborhood they think that's theirs, but they rent that. This makes no sense. No, this is right. This is wrong. But you so used to seeing that this is actually right. This is actually wrong. How you, have you developed what you feel is right and wrong for yourself? But the thing is, that's my, like, I know what's right and wrong, but that's like what I've been told or like taught becomes me. And then my personality <laughs> comes out too. So I just, I feel, I just like what I like. So you're kind of saying like your family's beliefs now kind of became Mine. yours. Exactly. Mm. Brother, mm. So being real, right? what do you really, what does your family really think about those with dreads? Is it unclean? Is it unorthodox? Like what no, does that? It's not really about that. It's just, they don't like, so there's certain things like a girl has to be, a, they're very traditional. For just some reason, that's something that most So like Afro men with long hair is a no-no. Is that more Men so? are not supposed to have like long hair. We c men are not supposed to have like earrings. They're just start, like tattoos, like just certain things they believe that, because they're very Christian. You, you gotta know? stick to the tradition, the religion part. They gonna use that tradition and religion when it's comfortable. They ain't gonna use it all around. They are gonna use it when, it when it when it suits them. It's beneficial. Exactly. It like it. So it's just- if, When you catch them doing some shit they ain't supposed to be doing, what are they gonna say? 
do as I say, not as I do. It's not like they see it as a bad thing. It's just something that not used to. Okay. We grew, grew up in Africa. There's certain things we did not see. So it's kind of like, oh, they do that. Okay. They're not, they're, like, they feel like at the point where they can't even be open-minded to learn because they're just so used to their own ways. It's not like it's a bad thing. It's just something they're not used to. Okay. Cognitive dissonance. <laughs> so you're not open to things you're not used to. You're going to stick to... I don't I don't personally feel like it's like that. Like if y'all listening to her, it's like just the cultural differences. Like mm -hmm. um, exactly. here in America, we're able to speak free and right. loudly as we choose to. If you're in Dubai, you can't even raise your voice above a certain mm -hmm. limit. So mm -hmm. I just feel like just trying to understand that she's from a totally different mm -hmm. continent mm -hmm. than us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Sorry, I want to say. Man, stop trying to come and say these motherfuckers, man. Hell nah, man. You've been here long enough. You're enjoying all the other fruits of the labor and all of everything else around America. We ain't asking you to change, but have some damn sense. And and don't just think all people with locks are the same. All people with locks are, are you know what I mean? They, they're, they're not deemed worthy of me. Say something. I understand that because my mom, every time I go back home, my mom wants me to hide this. Oh. We go out to people's houses and stuff. She, you know, she just doesn't understand it. My dad was, went to school in Michigan in America. So he had a different perspective. Mm -hmm. So when I moved here, I had the chance to kind of go away from what was normal. But mm -hmm. every time I go back home, my uncle, ah, 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 are you a girl? <laughs> you know, they, it's, it's like a question. It's, it's not normal yeah. to see because you're nigerian right yeah exactly i'm asking nigga box let's let's box a bit let's square up see let's see what see what i got cooking um. <laughs> you know so i understand what she's saying and, give me 30 and seconds um. they do they do, it's part of the culture yeah mm -hmm. it's not good it's not bad it's just that's just the reality of it okay. and that's as simple as it should be yeah. it, it should be explained Okay, thank you. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> so, Eric, good thing you were over there, you know, saying your points. So I'm gonna move on over to you next. <laughs> so, as we saw on the episode you were on, like we saw, you were pretty certain about what you like and what you don't like. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these clips showcasing that. <laughs> uh -oh. And Eric, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, I think it's a style thing. I don't like the dress. When you're darker skinned, I like for girls to choose things that will stand out. That dress is banging. That. It's the same thing. I just like to have someone who stands out. Mm -hmm. And I like to wear black. And I, I think that it would be weird to just have two people walking Man. around wearing black. And the reason I popped was, I have a thing about nails. I don't That's like the other joint that was supposed to be on the show too. I ain't going to be able to make it my friend got to work. The other girl with the ass she need. I said, oh boy, damn near day of. I'm on the like, planking. And I feel like, yeah, I don't know. There's something about it, that I, the sound of it, I don't like. Okay. And the other thing is the black. Again, I just like to, I like people who are colorful. And I popped it because um, there's something about the laugh I don't like. I think that would be annoying to hear all the time. Hey, I know what you like, man. <laughs> Okay. Stand on there. Nobody. So, <laughs> All right. So let's talk. Yeah, so Eric, you know, like yeah. them wearing black. They're not gonna wear black every day, right? I understand. Uh -huh. But this every time somebody come on, they wearing all black. I'm gonna hit them with the. This is your show. Right. You're the one who set the rules. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said tell us about the first impression. That was my first impression. <laughs> I see. So right. I mean, so what would it? be like if you're dating someone and they do end up wearing black would you tell her it's not it's or? not that you're never to wear black okay, that wasn't okay. the situation i was simply playing the game uh, okay you asked for the first impression of the person walking in yeah. i looked at her i said that was my first impression got it okay. it was it was as simple as that so if you yeah. were like out in real life and you do see someone who's not out wearing so much of a bright color but everything else is in your specs i mean colorful people are colorful regardless mm -hmm. like i'm wearing black but there's still color there. I see. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's just the, it's, in her case, it was simply that there was just brown. Mm. It, it's like looking at a naked person. <laughs> it's real tight, right? There's, no, there's it's, not, it, new... it's not good or it's not bad. It's just that personally, there are just certain, I, I, I like a bit of mystery. Okay. So that, I mean, that's as simple as I can put it I in see. that, in that situation. Oh. Yeah. If you were to describe yourself, because this is actually right. a great, this is a great question, I think, for dating. Okay. If you were to, like, what's your favorite color? 
Just I answer. would say orange. Why? Give me three three adjectives three as reasons. to why. Yeah. Well, every time you wake up in a September morning, you look outside. Okay. It feels like the sun is is just more yellow for some You're reason. Artist. Right. It reminds okay. you of of the beginning of fall. Okay. It reminds you of sunsets. Okay. Yeah. Right. There's beauty to the color orange. Okay, beauty. If you put the color of orange next to someone who's dark skinned, they shine. Shine. Okay. By the way, all the women are welcome because after I said that. Everyone started wearing colors. Okay. okay, set the tone. Check it. Okay. <laughs> hey. So as we saw during um, episode five, there was an accessory that was kind of the talk of the episode. So let's go ahead and take a the look hat. at what that accessory was. Uh oh, that's the, that's the lady with the hat. Why you still got a funny ass hat on? I ain't even peep. I knew you had a weird hat, but I didn't know that was you. Why you don't just like you don't got it like you don't like your head? You ain't get a retwist? What's going on? Hat really throw me off the Willy Wonka thing. I don't really like it like that. I like the Cam Newton hat. Oh, Cam! Oh. <laughs> I forgot that nigga said that. <laughs> you gotta do me like that. <laughs> what you mean, bro? Threw me off. Other than that, okay. That's the hat for sure. Okay. Yeah. Taylor, that hat taking you out today, girl. <laughs> You messy as fit for that. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Taylor, as we saw, you're, you're wearing a hat today. The hat okay. Y'all didn't, yes. didn't stop me. <laughs> okay. Were you expecting for your hat to be like such a, a hot topic? I wasn't expecting to be anything. Oh, okay. I was an audience member. Even with this hat, it's not as bad, but it's given like, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it just showed she had a, she had a, her hair wrapped up, she had a turban on and that was long, and then she had a hat on top of that. It was two three head accessories. It was just too much going on. It's like when dudes used to wear fitted fitted hats, but put the do rag on it, and then the do rag cape used to fly from the back. That's just too much going on, and then it was matching. <laughs> and I was I wasn't expecting to be on the show that time, mm. so. Mm. Um, yeah, I just hold on, hold on. came. Let's hear that again. Audience member, <laughs> and were you so she's saying she was an audience member and she wasn't expecting to be on the show. When I run my show, I don't like audience members. I've had to ask people to leave. I put in an email, no extra guests, because people try to chop it up. They try to hit on the women or the men. They trying to film, do other stuff. It just doesn't need. I need you focused. Sometimes I've had situations where friends have came and been on the show, and then one person uh, went goes and they're done, and then I let I let them hang out behind camera, and then they're looking at their friend like. Oh, don't choose him. Like, it's just too much. It's a distraction. I don't want you looking off camera like, you know what I'm saying? Are you expecting for your hat to be like such a, a hot topic? I wasn't expecting to be anything. Oh, okay. I was an audience member. <laughs> and I, was, I wasn't I was expecting to be on the show that time. Mm. So, um, yeah, I just came and I threw on something and I was like, oh, I'm excited. I stay inside a lot at the time. And yeah. I just came and <laughs> I didn't know the hat was gonna be hated. A lot of people told me to throw it away. Oh, really? Like, Dang. Did you? Did you? No, I actually, uh, I, I basically have it being customized right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Strong Wool is customizing it. And we're I heard of Pimp My Rod. She said she took that bit to pimp my hat. And then donate it um, with our water initiative. Oh, yeah, I saw that video on oh, IG. That's right. That's right. cool. And what is the water initiative, if you want to elaborate on that? So I currently work as a project coordinator for Project Roots, and we are presenting a water initiative where we are passing out water. We live in Phoenix. It's really hot mm -hmm. to those who are unsheltered. Um, and we're currently uh, planning a fundraiser where uh, people can donate, uh, we, they can find more information about it, and we would like to raffle out, off that hat just because it was a hot commodity and has a lot of attention and strong man, wool is putting want that some hat, really cool Man, been on that dome piece 12 times. Designs on it, mm. so yeah. Okay, very mm -hmm. nice. Thank you. Anyone have any comments about the hat? <laughs> hey, I, I can't wait to see your hat popping this time, though. He like your hat this time. Okay, well, I don't care what they said. Okay, Thank put you. it on today. Thank you. I mean, I thought you put it on that day too. 
Yeah, it was on there, all right. I was going to say, you look good. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate uh, so it. I can women, say women, 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 stop that shit, man. Y'all love just giving them random compliments out that y'all don't mean. Y'all see them girls and they each other friends comment, oh my God, girl, yes, you slayed this so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Man, stop lying to y'all friends, man. Keep it a buck. Y'all in the comment section, y'all really, really ate me up. But it brought me, just like this, the city of Phoenix, rebirth. I am grateful for the opportunity to love myself. I found love for myself here. So I'm grateful. We love that. We love that for you. <laughs> so as we saw on season six, we kind of had a little class clown. You know, that baby sure goofy. Talk about <laughs> Jay. You definitely have. You mean episode six, yeah, season six? I'm like, yeah. Had quite a lot to say to some of the ladies that were coming on out. So you know, let's take a little look at the recap. That boy was goofy. You were saying. I'm an Uber and Lyft driver full time. Okay. All yeah. right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I don't know. It's the knee, the right knee. You got something going on. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I got eczema. <laughs> and I use coconut oh. oil. <coughs> yeah, zoom in on that. Um, Please. And I just don't know why it's like that. <laughs> you so, Jay, some of the comments are saying you're being a little nitpicky. Like, I'm glad he did star it. Is really a deal breaker for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I really do have eczema. <laughs> so, you know, it, now nah, it's a real thing. So when I saw that, I really was thinking, like, man, it could be something. Mm. You know what I mean? You got your um, fighting over the cocoa butter? Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah, you, you got to put some aqua so, on that, man. Um, Come on now. It, maybe in the real world, I don't know, but I mean, I'm thinking, like, maybe somebody who, who, who use, you know, coconut oil <laughs> might be coming up next. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. You know? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to understand. <clears throat> How you get to talk about the right knee, but as soon as I say taco meat, I get humped back in Notre Dame. Mm. Hey, please help me understand. I didn't say that. I ain't saying you did, but how are you able to say that, but I can't? Mm. I can't speak for other people. <laughs> but great answer. I can only speak for myself. They were coming for him, though, Jess. I never said did that. Did they? Yeah. But did they come for his life? That's her little switch up. Like, let me get some of this TV time. Get it. Books, though. No, they came for my manhood. Ooh. With your job. They said, Sassy, I'm gay. I'm Jess. <laughs> All right. Hell, that's better than collard green arm. Not for a man, look. <laughs> I guess for a man, that is pretty serious. Like, yeah. you know, they're calling him zesty, sassy. Do you feel kind of sassy about that? Like, you feel like you're having sassy? I don't feel sassy at all. You don't feel zesty? I don't feel sassy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might, I might be a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But hot today, but you know, I might be a little zesty, but that's just some seasoning, okay. you know? Bruh, um, that zesty and a sassy is a cold. It's a cold word. You know what I'm saying? The woman, the woman realized, okay, we, we got to stop openly calling straight men gay. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it 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 it, it didn't make sense. They, we, we're acting like we're for the LGBT community, but we're gonna call straight men gay as an insult. What? That doesn't make sense. So let's use a code word, which is even what they really even before gay. They was using the F word. So it, they, 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 they just try to keep dumbing it down. We can't use the F word. So let's call them gay. Oh, we can't call them gay. Now let's call them zesty and sassy. It's just it's just code word for, for a racial slur. That's all it is. We joke and we kiki a lot. But zesty and sassy is just code word for a racial slur. Not, not I'm sorry, a sexist slur. Or... or, or what is it, is it racial, sexist, um, uh, like a, a phobic slur? I don't know. Y'all know what I mean. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a homophobic slur. slur. That's, what, that's, that's basically what it is. That's their way of fixing it up. So if they call you zesty and sassy, they really want to say, yo, you acting gay. If they say, oh, you acting gay, they probably, nine times out of ten, they want to heighten it up and, and, and say, boom, F. They want to call you the F word. It's just like uh, if you have friends. Say you're a black guy, you got white friends. You know what I'm saying? I went to an all-white high school, private school. I used to party with them all the time. Went to their parties, listened to their listen to music I wouldn't normally listen to. I want to invite them somewhere. Oh, uh, how is it going to be? Is it going to be hood? Is it going to be dark? 
They're just basically asking me, are there going to be black people there? It's a code word. Is it going to be hood because there's black people there? That's all it is, bro. Think about it. Well, drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> so, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I am actually. Does it matter what kind of oil? Like, can I be like a shea butter? You could do this. Okay, glasses. Okay. Okay. I like the glasses. Don't, don't can I just add pillows. one thing? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, sir. Let me, let me give compliments real quick. I like this fit because I don't want y'all to call me a hater. I like this fit. Um, let me see. Um, I like how you brighten the color up. I like, this is my favorite outfit right here. And she's not even standing up. They got y'all sitting down because just how long this potentially could be. But I wish y'all were in uh, stools, like bar stools. So it kind of shows more of the fit. So you're not standing up, but it shows more of the fit. But I get it. Y'all in these uh, folding chairs like y'all at a cookout. And um, and I like this red too. I'm not I'm not going to hold y'all for real. For, and Terrence, your shoes are clean this time. Good, good job. Good job, bro. If okay. I just wanted and this retwist looks better than the, the one you had on the first show. To add, um, and I was just thinking about this because I know you noticed like the ashiness of her knee or the scar of her knee, but did the responses uh -oh. that the women gave go over your guys' heads when Arlette said, what are you ladies looking for in a man? And I know I went up there and I'm looking for a man of God. I'm looking for a man with good principles Ooh, and you guys get this. immediately went to first impression is she's wearing a brown dress mm. like did did you guys did that go over your head the responses that we had the intellect that we had oh get their ass get them get unleash the dogs get their ass i like that that's a great question if you're asking me, yeah. I never said anything about the brown dress. Oh, I'm just gonna, my height. I'm my, sorry. Yeah, it was the height. Okay. But oh, but, but but women were talking about height though a lot. I'm wearing brown right now. It's my favorite color. I like the dress. <laughs> but he said don't play. The, dra the <laughs> dress was not very Christian. I'll say oh, that. The dress was Faces, look at the faces, look at the faces. <laughs> it was, it was past my oh. knees, it was long sleeves. No, nah, that shit was it was paper thin. It was thinner than it was it was stocking cap thin. It was do-rag thin. It was pantyhole thin. Arlette. <laughs> my pa Arlette back. <laughs> I can't help that I am a woman body. who is in shape. No, no, nah, nah, that shit was tight though. It was tight. It was Spanx tight. It was tight. That I do have are tailored to me because I do appreciate um, nice clothes. It was tight, but at the same time, I don't like what he just said because it took away from a phenomenal question she just had, and it didn't get answered by all the men. I would have really loved to hear what all the men uh, had to answer. It's not gonna get circled back around, Arlet. I hope you bring it back around. And I thought that on a show, like a dating show, mm -hmm. I would put my best self forward. Mm -hmm. I didn't have my stomach out. I didn't have my ass out. I'm just a fit woman, and the dress was below the knee and long sleeves. It was tight though. Eric, what about her dress was not Christian in your opinion? I'm just saying, you know, you, you didn't have to try to. Hold on, hold on, real quick, man. My damn, hold on, shit. I, I... Oh, 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 oh. All right, I'm back. Man, that shit scared the hell out of me. Yes, anything. It was all there. Mm. Not, it's not bad. Right? Yeah. Saying, okay. If you come okay. in, if you come out, and you're like, oh, I'm looking, I'm a, you know, I'm a Christian woman. I'm looking for a Christian man. A true Christian man wants his wife or his woman to be reserved. Okay. Are you he a Christian man? Having the shape no. is not enough. What? Having the shape is the problem. It's, the shape yeah. is not the problem. Well, that's, what I'm gonna say is, I liked it, and uh, <laughs> Terrence, <laughs> we know Terrence. We fucking know. Ah, <laughs> look at Terrence. What I'm gonna say is, I liked it in it. <laughs> 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 I 
on now. But what I'm gonna say is like, um, I see it that go back to like me saying like it's a black thing because I see like other race they have on little bitty stuff on yes. and then they will not people won't say nothing because they don't have a body. Shake them. Like you can't, you can't. It just go you back into personal it. like what she. Bruh, was. I used to argue with YouTube like that. I used to go to these YouTube events. Get invited out to YouTube black events, hosted YouTube black events, like in the prime of it, 2016, 17, 18. And I used to tell them, and, and I used to advocate for the women because they used to do swimsuit hauls. And white people would do these swimsuit hauls and bathing suit hauls from Sheen or Fashion Over, and, they, and they, would, they would make money, and it would be fine. The thumbnails would be fine. But black women and African women and people with more curvaceous bodies and plus-size women, their content would get demonetized or have limited ads because of their curves. And I felt like they were penalized because of their body shape and type. And I'm like, I didn't like that. I said, if if Jane get on here and she's a size two and she wears 115 pounds, it's fine. She can spin around, show, show her the cheeks that she has. But if a, a woman that get on there that's five four, you know what I'm saying, a buck seventy thick, curvaceous, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, or plus size or whatever, it would get de- demonetized. And I, I did not understand. And they had no answer for me. They had no, and the woman were like, "Damn, I ain't think about it like that." But I, I knew women who used to create content, be like, "Yeah, it sucks because it doesn't get the reach." Or I'm not, you know, what I'm saying these brands want to pay me, but it ain't doing the views because they demonetize my content. But that's facts, though. But the dress still was tight. You know, what I'm saying it's not. It, it, I wouldn't call it Christian. Like, you know, what I mean, you can be Christian and still dress up and look sexy and feel sexy. I get it. But you know, she can't wear nothing. Look, I wouldn't wear that to like a family function or like church or nothing. Saying what you like type stuff. So you know, hold up, like hold up, hold up, hold up. We missing one. What happened to uh, Short Stack? What happened, what happened to uh, Whitley? Dwayne, where she went at? You got to be more conscious of it because people, men going to be looking. That's probably what they're getting that type of stuff. If you're attractive and it's just out there, I'm I'm for sure going to be looking. I'm a man like that. So, you know, you got to kind of be mindful of that if you're looking to be, you know, with a man. And, you know, so I ain't gonna that's lie. all. But not to say like you did anything wrong, though. I ain't going to lie. You, I told the taller dudes they was tripping and I was lusting. I was like, I lie. Like, actually, a lot of it. I was like, y'all tripping. I. But you popped your balloon. I did. Yeah. I had, you know. You wanted to see number three. I, I want to ask a question to both of you guys because I feel like you guys both are very critical. Mm. Have you guys ever, like, looked past it? And I guess this is a general question, too. Like, I know attractiveness and, like, how a woman's uh, physical appearance is is important in my perspective to a man but have you guys ever like maybe fallen for a woman beyond her looks or for her heart or for her personality and I if so yeah. like how when why at work been like yeah. so you're not always shallow mm. man i mean i guess if you want to say that but see you. this is the thing when men have standards it's shallow but when women <laughs> say i want to do that six feet oh my god and that's every episode guys and that's every episode. And the percentage of men that are over six feet, and you're talking two out of ten men. That's every episode they do that. They don't want to talk about that height shit. I want right. to do that's not an electrician. Right. I want to do but. that's not that. Hold on, hold on. I let y'all talk. Can I talk, please? Okay. Yes. Right. So when it, when when women say I want to do that, don't got locks, right? Um, it's it's you go girl that's right you standing on business you do your thing but when a man do it he's sassy he's zesty he's gay so so there's yes! a double standard yes 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 hit him with that one baby i love it yes say that shit again i'm glad you put it together and got your sentence out fam right um it's it's you go girl that's right you standing on i want the whole business. sentence yes right so when it when when women say i want to do that don't got locks right um it's it's you go girl that's right you standing Ooh. on business you do your thing but when a man do it he's sassy he's zesty he's gay so so there's a double standard there and i accept that right because i knew coming on the show that's what it's gonna be but if that's what you want and call then me, and and also with men men we aren't used to getting compliments. We get no compliments, bro. So when we do get a compliment, we smile. That one compliment can make us feel good for a week. Women are already used to getting told they look good by every guy because they're just 
horned up or trying to holler at them. And they're, they're getting used to told they look good and great by their homegirls every day. Every time they drop a picture post, yes, girl, you doing it. Oh, my God, I love you. I love her. They just be saying it. Like, you know what I mean? Women are literally, I know women that are in groups on Instagram where if they post something, they'll let the group of 100 girls know, hey, I just posted. The girls in the group would then just go filter and flood the comments with hard eyes and different stuff just to make it seem like they got, it's like, it's like engagement groups. You know what I mean? That And, and content creators do it too. You know what I mean? Those, they're annoying. I'm not a part of any, but I have been. That shit is mad annoying. Um, but you you got that like that. So y'all used to the compliment. Men don't really get no compliments like that. You feel me? So that it, it, it what he's saying makes it makes sense. I can't I can't um debate with your opinions and I don't want to try to. Right. But that's because you're gonna be considered you the sass word, guys. That's what I am and that's what I like. I mean, Just like that's what y'all like. I wouldn't I wouldn't like personally, the electrician, the electrician um, comment. I, from my knowledge, electricians make a good grip of money. Um, but that's not my first, you know, um, priority when getting to know someone. But I think the what thing. What is your first priority? My first priority is. I don't. I see what's happening is, people are talking and explaining themselves, and, and people are asking questions in the middle of them explaining. So then they'll go and answer that question. But since it's ten people up there, nine people. A whole nother subject will start. So homegirl in the dress never got her question answered when she said, what were y'all thinking when I came up and I said, I'm looking for a man of God. I'm looking for love. I'm looking for someone who's caring and compassionate. And y'all come out and say, hey, your kneecap is ashy. Hey, I don't like a brown dress. That never got answered. So now he asked something. She's answering it. And then he just asked another question. So Ar Arlette, you're going to have to... You gonna have to get back to being all that. You ain't gonna. You can't just let him run with this. This character, um, appearance. I do have to be attracted. But how do you get to know the character if you haven't? By asking what your favorite color is, and then seeing how receptive you are. If you're receptive to. Oh, she back. She went bathroom. Go down the path of allowing me in. I got a question. How y'all do a good job with the editing too, man? Whoever editing this shit up, cause I edit all my shit too. I like how y'all zoom to them. She disappeared. Y'all zoomed to them. We didn't see her walk off. You know, you showed the wide angle. She's coming back. We're going to zoom to them again. She sat down. We're back at the wide angle. The regular folk never knew she left. How long does that last to be real if you're not truly attracted? You have to be attracted to the person that you're talking to. I like, wouldn't even ask. Be long, right? Like the person now. You do have to be attracted, not all the time, but what will happen is she's not attracted to you and you grow on her or something vice versa like that. If you, the moment you make them mad, they get upset. I gave you a chance. I ain't even like you in the beginning. I wasn't even attracted to you at first. That's the thing I'm thinking saying it here. Everybody is big. And oh, out loud. Yes, pay attention to that. But it all starts off with attraction. You're not just going to go for somebody just because they're cool. That's more friend type of energy. It's not a relationship. But to be honest, I wouldn't even be going deeper with you if I wasn't attracted to you. So, like, if I'm attracted, like, what I find with the men that I've that to sounds pursue? very contradictory. Because what was your question? Well, no, so, 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 because, like, somebody can be attractive, but if you're not receptive to me and, like, if I'm trying to get to know you and you, like, I'm like, what's your favorite color? Well, that's kind of silly. Like, I'm not going to be able to, we're not going to be able to get along because I like depth. We're but asking about what is, small talk, what is the thing that depth. brings you together to begin I mean, with? I mean, me asking and me going deeper, if you're, if I'm asking you a question, you can't go along for the ride. I'm asking you, like, give me three, give me three reasons why you, why you like the color orange. And you're like, well, this is kind of silly. Well, already we're not going to, like, you could, I could think you're attractive, but I'm like, okay, well, maybe hey, we're not going to be able to go next, long term then because. Next caller. I'm asking I questions that question you think wasn't exactly understood by you. Not that he right. thought he was silly, but I also believe that we shouldn't use the example of you two for you to answer the question. I'm, I'm that just was giving asked. an example. But what is the thing that attracts you in the, to yes. begin with? It's the character. No, I, 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 I you just met somebody. Like, <laughs> we gonna go in circles. It's all right. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta move on. Let's move on. Move on. <laughs> so. Um, as we saw with Serenity, uh, we did touch on you a little bit, but we're going to bring it back around. Okay. So a lot of the viewers kind of expressed they felt like, you know, on your episode, like that you weren't treated fairly. Yeah. So let's go ahead and take a look at how your segment went. Hello. Welcome in. Hi. We can have your name. I'm Serenity. Very beautiful. You seem. And I forgot this little llama over here ass. Strong, like you beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot the lawnmower. I'm not gonna lie, it was just defeat. 
The you know feet. I, mean? I just. I, I can't really get a close up. You can't really tell the dogs how the dogs look unless you up on the dogs. Wasn't fucking with the shoes. <laughs> the dogs don't they don't look bad, dude. You know what I mean? Like you beautiful, but I just you. you know the fit just wasn't it for me. Uh, just wasn't attracted. Okay. Uh, just seems a little uncoordinated. Had a guest shirt. Know, he said she was uncoordinated. That was crazy. I can see why she was upset. She came on with them red bottles this time. She said she gonna stretch herself this time. I got you. It's the heels and. You know what I mean? The dress, but it's it's that simple. The sassy brute. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they the baddest. Not you. Who the best? No, obviously. There she go. Yeah, the comments were definitely on your side on this. You know, they were like, like you said. The comments were so on her side until she came to the reunion. I please, I hope y'all touch on that reunion and the debacle of that reunion. If y'all told her to, because she came online and said, they told me to say this they because my answers wasn't as popping as it was. She came on her Instagram and was like, oh, they, they told me that that wasn't good enough or fun enough to make this story up, but do this. So I need I need an explanation for that. I hope y'all tackle it. And she's, uh, before we even said anything, she said, this is a sassy group. And that's what the majority of the comments were calling the men on this episode. Hey, that ain't nothing. That's a little, little cold, little cold, cold words for saying a little, you know what I'm saying? Homophobic slur. Episode. So Serenity, as we saw, you were taking those comments very well. Like, yeah. I'm a Sex is slur, muscle, whatever it's called. And it doesn't matter what someone is telling me about myself, mm -hmm. I know myself. Yeah. And I know what I know about myself to be true. Mm -hmm. um, so I was unshaken. And I knew that regardless of if I was going to be disrespected, because as a black woman, unfortunately, mm. I get disrespected a lot, especially in the career field that I'm in. Mm. Um, I just knew that I was going to stay myself. I was going to show up as myself. Yeah. And the guys did show up. They were fresh. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen a lot of people iron their clothes in a while. There was no wrinkles on anybody. <laughs> um, you know, everyone looked good. I didn't smell anything bad you know no one's breath smelled crazy mm. um so i was going to give them true compliments yeah. now i will say this i don't dislike locks my mother has locks they go down to her wayside mm. um you know i'm from the, my family's from the caribbean but, Haitians, so a lot of people in my family and my culture wear the locks but um so i've grown to appreciate them and love them it's just um, so some of the gentlemen, like Jay on the show, he didn't have his locks clean. <laughs> he didn't have them twisted. Um, so if we're going off of first impressions, you know, you didn't get the chance for um, me to hear a lot of their responses on the initial walk up. Mm -hmm. So all I could go off of was appearance and the small remarks that they made, yeah. especially about me to decide if I was going to match. But mm -hmm. um, for me to go out there and give them um, a well-spoken, you know, part of me and then also articulate, I'm in shape and um, I'm respectful. Um, I would have thought I would have gotten different remarks mm -hmm. and I was a little disappointed in the men on there because yeah. I love black we people all were. and they didn't show that love back. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Cause I can't be everybody's type, mm -hmm. you know, everyone has a preference like we heard with the colors and all that stuff. Right. <laughs> um, but you know, I am wearing a different color today. Yes, we see. Um, <laughs> um, and I'm wearing accessories as well. Um, and and yeah, so it, it was crazy. I wasn't see how much more that. you stand out. Oh. Hey. hey, here we go. Here we go. That was a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Same. you was looking tonight. So you say she, she wasn't standing out that day. Is what you saying? She did not stand out. Okay. But look at her now, mm. right? Okay. Would you pop your balloon now? She's definitely now? beautiful. Huh? Would you pop your balloon now? First well, impression, straight the on first, first The first impression is done. Fine. Yeah. It's done, yeah. Okay. Man, just answer the question, man. So, <laughs> right. Yeah, you definitely are. And the red dress, okay, we see you. That's <laughs> rabbit. We're not going to talk about that reunion. And I'm strong still, too, the in the red dress, body. too. Oh, I'm still strong in the red dress. Okay. okay. Yeah. So as we saw, Trinity said yeah. right away, sassy, ah. whatever it is. What did you guys think of, you know, uh, Serenity's segment? I feel like the men were just too picky, mm. just to be picky, mm. just to pick. I think, look, I think all other men out there can relate to me. Look, you ain't do nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? You look great. You're respectful, like you said, and it can seem like from your mind space that you're intelligent. That's attractive. Like, you know, I don't know what everybody else out there looking for, but if you're trying to settle down for real, like that's that's that. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I think yeah. a lot of the men on there were just intimidated by you. That's mm. it. When you yeah. have like a woman of your caliber and you have all your stuff together, and then you're going on a dating show and meeting men who maybe don't, or even maybe only have it halfway, they're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't. So I feel like it was a protection thing. Yeah, that <laughs> lawnmower guy. I think that he was like I would want to ask him. I said lawnmower guy. My bad. I'm sorry. No, no, um, no. You meant that shit. You don't say sorry. Um, landscaper. Landscaper. Excuse me. That. Yeah. Um, I wonder what he was really looking for for him to say she seems too strong. Um, that honestly offended me for you because um, as black women, sometimes we naturally have toneness and. Um, just because we have a toneness doesn't mean that we're not feminine, you know? Mm -hmm. So I wonder what he was really meaning by that. Mm. Well, he would have to be here to answer yeah. yeah. that, but mm -hmm. I'm strong, Everybody but I'm soft. <laughs> I am, right? I smell good too. Period. Let him know. Let him know. And to kind of go ahead and move on to uh, who is known on the show as America's favorite bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence, we saw you on uh, quite a few episodes. I think it's about three. Yeah. Terrence on seven episodes. episodes. And, you know, on there, we saw that, you know, your balloon just, just kept getting on pop, but you never gave up. Like, you always just still had a smile on your face and everything. Let's go ahead and take a look at your journey on here. Uh, All right. Hello. Right on over here. Hello. Welcome in. God damn, y'all ain't had to put that shit together like that. <laughs> y'all ain't had to do that nigga shit like that. <laughs> damn, why that shit back? God damn, y'all ain't had to do them pops like that. That shit sounded like. Damn, Terrence, they was killing you, fam. They was killing Terrence. Terrence needed life alert. Golly, Terrence. Yeah. All right, Hello. right on over here. Hello, welcome in. Bam, 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 bam. Because you're short. It's just height, but you're oh. very handsome, and I like your outfit. I picked you because you're the shortest one. Damn. I just would like somebody a little bit more taller. Damn. I think it's the lips for me. I, Damn. you know, don't. <laughs> It's that shallow shit y'all be talking about, huh? I can't kiss him. What's wrong with her? Ask her. What? So, <laughs> Terrence, did it ever become like discouraging? Like every time, like someone would come Damn. out, like their poppy balloon on all those episodes you were on? No, not really. I would say like uh, for me. Like, I didn't see none of them. Like, I was like, I would marry her, you know, mm -hmm. for them that did pop my balloon. But, and um, another thing too, like, I really not like big on pe hating people or wanting people to like, if they don't like me, that's fine. I, I still love you, still like you. I'm still, you know, that's okay with me. Mm -hmm. So like, whoever I do find, I'm gonna know that she really want me and she love me and I want, that's what I want, you yeah. know? So. Nothing that don't want me. I don't. What you mean? They gave you a match, and it, please tell me the match that you had ain't fail or fall through. I want it. They don't want me, and I ain't big on forcing nothing. So exactly. that's how I feel about it. There you go. <laughs> All right. So how did you guys feel when you know watching Terrence's segment? Hey, they was hating my boy. That was an edit right there. I don't know what y'all edited out. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, people be like, I mean, teach his own. You like what you like, but. For me, I'm like a real person when it comes to like height or different shit like that. That shit really don't matter. Once I get to take the time to know you and I'm feeling you, then we gonna vibe. Like, but that's how I feel. Yeah, um, I'm not the spokesperson for all women, but I will say that growing up in my household, my mom, she's a stallion. She's about 5'11", and my dad was 5'5". Five five. Okay. So height was never a requirement for me. And I knew that you could be tall, and you could be a bad person. You could be a lie, cheat, steal, right. drink, all of the above. Exactly. So, um, I thought that you carried yourself very well. Um, you look very sharp. You know, edge up is crispy, okay? <laughs> Skin is clear. Um, and I thought, um, you know, it was unfortunate. And then I had to live the same experience. So um, I know how you feel on a deeper level. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And personally, I was somebody that in my episode, I got, I was speaking on someone's height, but it was because he lied, but I didn't get a chance 
He lied. I didn't get a chance to say that I like short kings. I actually, my first, my very first person was a short king. Yeah. Kai Sinat is a short king, and I would definitely hop on. Uh, Kai Sinat got that bag. That's what that is. That's that bag. That's that money on. Look at him. He looking like, look at him. Look, she looking like, girl, please. That's that money on. She, she basically hit y'all with the, I got black friends too. Um, so <laughs> I'm just I just want to make sure you know that boy Kyle that boy Kyle 21 years old. What are we talking about right now? 21, 22. That's that manyan right there, fam. Come on, now stop playing. Hey Siri, mm -hmm. how old is Kasanet? Exactly. That uh, you know. You know, you already, you already know. Yeah. And you're very handsome, beautiful locks. Yeah, beautiful skin. Yeah, I got to like to interject. Okay, so, ahead. so back to your point, right? No, no, you, you said the shit. I mean, this no is pressure. what I was talking about about the double standard. Wasn't nobody in the comments mad about that? But everybody was mad about what I said. Yeah, this right. Me. It doesn't matter, no, bro. A knee, you can you can control an ashy ass knee. You can put some ointment on that. He has no control over his height, and he was per that was ten that was ten balloon pops right there. Pop 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 pop. pop. They would pop up. You know what I'm saying? Nobody came with oh y'all shallow for the height shit. Nobody came with the woman. And then that's another thing with red hat right here. That's another thing. You know what I'm saying? She got this the uh, King Queen of Zamunda hat on. You know, y'all y'all don't hold yourselves accountable. All he's he's gonna say something right now, and all the young the first young lady has to say is, Yeah, you're right. You got a point. But y'all will not do that. Y'all will not just be held accountable. It, it's always something. Watch this. No the height was serenity. Oh. Right? They was they was on my helmet about that. Mm. But we get three episodes of this and Crickets, crickets, no, nothing to crickets. Say. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a, it's a hypocrisy, right? And that's that's kind of that drizzle drizzle that we talking about is like when y'all get it done to y'all, y'all really don't like it, but it's okay for me, but it's not okay for you. Yeah, it's cool when they do cool, it. It's a problem right? when I do because it. Because like Serenity oh. said, you can be a good person or you could be a bad person if you tall. You be a great person if you short, mm -hmm. right? And that's the same thing. That's all men are saying, right? I don't know this dude, but I feel like he saves kittens. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like he wouldn't hurt a fly if he didn't have to, but he could still protect himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't try him. So, I mean, that's all I'm saying. Like, I don't think it's zesty to have preferences. And no, men get mad at women about, well, actually, we do get mad about that, mm -hmm. about the preferences. But I mean, it, it got to go both ways. That's all I'm saying. It got to go both ways. I think it also has to go back to not taking things too personally because followers are going to do what followers do. That's why they're called followers. That's if true. one person says it, a lot of them are going to say it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Man, shut your ass up, man. You the same one talking about he reminds you of your little brother and you don't like him. Just say you don't like your brother, bro. Just say your brother get on your damn nerves. Just say you hate his guts. We ain't forget. And sit your ass down that weak ass bladder. You keep getting up going bathroom. Okay. Well, I want to say, uh -oh. I feel like Terrence got it in the bag because I don't really think too much about it before she asked, she asked him about him being discouraged about coming on and people saying no, basically. <laughs> um, the Bible says it's not for the swift or the strong. It's for the one who endures and... I see endurance all over him, so I feel like he got it in the bag. Yeah. Whoever he get, he gonna get him, and he gonna get somebody because he's enduring for real. Yeah. For sure. Okay, and he kept like a high spirit through all of it. You yeah. He even told a couple ladies like, man, somebody I ten they mic up. Everybody mic'd up. That's on ten mics is crazy. Twelve mics is crazy. But somebody keep tapping and ten they mic up. Uh, somebody gotta have headphones off site, just getting all this hit in their ear. I think you look good. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like definitely an honorable dude. Definitely. Yeah. So obviously, uh, we see in the comments, like, all the women are like, oh, Terrence, I wish you were in my state. Come to Atlanta. Come wherever. I date you. All this stuff. Yeah. But um, I feel like in person, it's it's different. Like, for example, some of you ladies are on stage. Is Terrence your type? Is he someone that you would go for? Ooh. <laughs> Shit just got sticky. It got sticky. 
Yeah, now you laughing. Oh, I love short kings. Oh, I love me a short king. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, Terrence, clear skin. Your your lineup is fresh. Yeah. Now let's see what happened. He's okay. he's taller than me, so yeah, I would. Okay. So Trinity, you said no. Why no? Why Trinity? Why did you say no? Quick and strong too. He's really sweet. Mike. Like I feel like Trinity, pick your mic up, man. Come on. He's really sweet, and I just feel like I'm Toxic. aggressive. <laughs> I may be too aggressive. What is, what does that mean? what does that mean when women say they're too aggressive? Y'all like to fight, y'all want to wrestle, y'all want to tussle. What's happening right now? Not intentionally, but that's just me. You I'm need counseling. You need to get some therapy. Nah, Terrence, like, I'm not a kid. He got some. You just gotta look deeper. I can see it in your eyes. Okay, so I, uh, 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 that's not what she asked. Y'all just did an edit again too. That's not what she asked. Would you give Terrence a try? Two ladies asked, answered. She said yeah. She said no. These two said nothing. These two said nothing. She she gave his little BS little drink right just now. You're saying you Terrence is your type. I would yeah, I definitely would tap in. Mm -hmm. I would tap in hey, the Terrence. Hey Terrence. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we want, cuz. That's what we want. Like, but I gotta, you know, I'm gonna say, hey, you know, I'll definitely get to know you. I personally think it's performative to be quite honest with you because it's easy for people to say, oh, I would do this, I would do that. But unless you're here in person, you're feeling a vibe, like it is totally okay to not be attracted to someone or not want to pursue someone or someone could be attracted that's just not your cup of tea. That's not what Arla asked. People hop on the internet and say, oh, they missing out, oh, they left shoe look ugly anyway or just talking about the person because they chose not to pursue terrence like mm -hmm. we've been talking about this all time. Let, people have their right to their own preference all right let answer the question ask the question again please ask the question they they going off in the, the left field on us arlette they're around the corner we got gps on they're taking wrong turns on purpose yeah. and i think it's very performative for people to get on the internet and say what they would do so how about you fly your tail on here mm. to arizona and get you terrence <laughs> and get you terrence then okay yes. oh, they be missing out though unless you gonna do that mm. all right they're not answering the okay, question Justin, since we're on you Oh, uh-huh, uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's, She so couldn't wait. Obviously, there's a word that's an edit. that gets thrown around a lot when it comes to you. Just we know, you know what that word is? Auntie. Auntie. Yup. <laughs> I knew it. I don't know why. Let me but give me that close-up on Let's take a look at, you know, why they keep calling you an auntie. She ain't really, that, that's an auntie stance if you've ever seen one in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 girl. That's an auntie. That's an auntie dress. That's aunt, that look like one of them pictures that used to be in my mama house when I was little. She's she's fine. She's fine. Uh, she look kind of like my auntie though. She's kind of like auntie. No disrespect. Bro. No disrespect. <laughs> she's been my auntie. Very beautiful. Huh? Show me your auntie when we done. I will. Most definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Damn, 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 damn. So, Jess, God. has anyone ever called you auntie or all that stuff before you came on Pop the Balloon? No. And I still ain't seen this auntie. So, if you're watching this, please send a picture of your auntie to my DMs, please. Because I want to see her. Yeah, I'm not sure where they're getting that. Is anyone else on the stage getting anti vibes from her? Man, those niggas don't want no smoke. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. Oh, Lord. All right, come on, man. Mm -mm. Oh, are we getting fine? I mm -hmm. see it, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! Oh man! Oh, sick! It's crazy work, Terrence. Is that serious? Oh shit! I think it was just a dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, and don't even take that the wrong way. I think it was the dress. 
The dress gave auntie. That dress gave auntie like a mug, bruh. That dress gave auntie, and I felt like it was one of them bulletproof vests under that dress. You know what I mean? To keep the the body snatched and all the shit tight, man. I'm sorry, man. That shit was funny, bro. I don't, I don't even be laughing like that. I'll talk to you. I mean, you think so you dress me like auntie? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Nah, no, no. god dang, y'all relax, man. It was, it, it, it was an auntie dress. Why y'all acting simple? Arlette just asked ten people, do do y'all think she was giving auntie vibes? And and nobody and nobody said yes, but I know some people wanted to say yes, and I don't like that. And Terrence, I commend you because you at least said she giving cousin vibes. <laughs> Maybe it's just the women in my family. Yeah, but that's an auntie ass auntie dress, like they man. They love patterns. They love, and I just be looking at them. I'm like, yeah, you know, you, you look good. And so you came on no, the show. I don't fix like, that shit up. I see why they say auntie. But I feel like it's a dress. You What's know? the your pants is patterns? Oh, oh shit! Now we getting messy. Now Arlette. God damn it! Oh, we getting messy. We getting messy, man. We getting messy. I don't want to do this. And she's getting messy, but the dress was auntie. And them pants is not auntie. They giving sophisticated brunch. You know what I'm saying? They're not, them not, them not auntie. But even her, your shoes, them shoes that you still got, it's still giving auntie vibes though. It's still. But here we go. Here we go. Looking at him, I'm like, yeah, you know, you, you look good. And so you came on the show, I'm like, I see why they say auntie, but I feel like it's a dress. <laughs> She's What's a, up? Uh, your pants is patterns. Look at how everybody looked. Look at how everybody look together. Love. Watch this. And I just be looking at him. I'm like, yeah. feel like it's like that movie Naked Gun 55th and the third. And everybody just go like this at the same time. Watch this. You look good. And so you Watch this. Show, I'm like, I see why they say auntie. But I feel like it's a dress. What's up? Your pants is pattern. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch that. Watch the his turn. Watch this. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Whoa. Oh. Was an issue. I'm just saying. No, nah, never mind. Them shit's not giving sophisticated brunch. I didn't get a close up. Them shit's is terrible. That's a bandana with a with a picnic uh, table, a uh, picnic cloth. Them joints is terrible too. I thought they would. From a distance, they look good. From hey, from far away, they look good. From from from, from far, they, they they look good from far. But when you get close, they look far from good. That's the saying. It's the dress. That's it, bro. Like, like, I'm, cause, cause I'm looking, cause they always say like hair and clothes are like. And, really and it was that hairdo on the first one. Please show that first episode when she had that doo wop cut. She had that. She had that that uh, ice cream cone swirl cut going. Look, and you know it too. I don't know why y'all do this, man. I don't know what the hell I just did. Can I take me back here? Oh, I did it. Oh, I ain't never know I could do that. Yeah, like you can put a full on, full on face, but put on sweats and still look a certain way. So it's kind of like maybe it's just the dress and the hair. Mm, she... Hair too? I, I said maybe. I don't know. Damn, they trying to set you up. Talking about hair too? <laughs> they trying to get your ass kicked. Hey, leave that girl alone. Hair too? Yes. Not today. Not that episode. But that first episode when you had that shortcut and that part was in the back of your skull like you had surgery. Yes. Um, I'll say it was the hair for me. The for hair me, for you. For me, yeah, it's the dress. Not, not in this episode. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. About time y'all start the man up! Everybody acting scared! If you're scared, go to church! Um, the first the one first was the short one hair, with the yeah. short hair. But today, I didn't know who you was. <laughs> but let's I also get something straight, too. Like, you are fine as hell. Yeah, yeah I was nah, like, no, no, no. I don't like when y'all do that. I don't like the, the compliments at the back. Look at the faces. Guys, you gotta look at everybody's faces. You, like, when people talk, the hell with who talking? They putting on a performance. They acting. Look at everybody else's face. She like, oh, she trying to fix it. Ha, ha, ha. And then she was like, mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Like, oh, hey. yeah. 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 Yes, honey. Yes. Yes. Okay. That booty, though. Okay. Who the hell said that booty, though? I thought that was Arlette. I said, I know Arlette ain't said that booty, though. That backflip though. Yeah, I you was are insane. absolutely gorgeous. Even the even the walk though, the walk still give. You got to open that stride up. Maybe the dresser at the knee ain't letting you do what you need to do. Like oh, look. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. 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 Look, 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 look. So I'm gonna tell y'all how how I'm looking at the walk. Just look at the uh, 
the arms, like when somebody walk, they they, they got to move the arm. Just look at how it's like this. Do the pocket knife. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. That's why I be think she got one of them bulletproof on, man. You can't even move. Nah, man. That's an auntie pose right there, fam. I don't know. It ain't nothing wrong with being an auntie. And then they gassing it up. <laughs> Sit your ass. Okay. Okay. That booty, though. Okay. That booty. You know, booty there, okay? so every time I get I so keep being made. Oh, <laughs> that booty fat. Bye, auntie. Relax, man. We know how many times you going to talk about that lady's cheeks, man. That booty, though. Come on, man. Just relax, man. Damn, if somebody take your hat and put it on some water. That is. Oh, God. <laughs> she ain't no See, look, she ain't no where you at? Well, I just want to say this about the whole 18 comment, the yeah. 18 comments. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I think it's old and it's lazy. I don't give auntie. Um, and I talked about this before. Why is it that women who consider themselves to be curvier, why is it that we get labeled auntie, auntie, cousin, mm -hmm. and X, Y, and Z? Mm -hmm. I don't give that. If you come on my page talking about I'm auntie. Hold on, man. Curvy, don't just curvy. All curvy women don't give no auntie. I'm, I, I'm done with it. I said it though. Block. Period. I don't give auntie. Okay. There you go. And you said cousin as well. You throw cousin. She said there you go. I thought she said yeah you do. She said yeah you do. Guys, I would have lost it. I would have lost it on here. Cousin as well. <laughs> okay. And then too, I just want to say this too. Please stop confusing comedic humor personality with somebody who's old. I prefaced this this before. As it relates to personality, it would be similar to like a tab of the brown or something like that. Mm -hmm. But this don't give auntie. So please stop it. Actually, I did get that dress. Um, well, it was sent to me from Shein. So um, I'm just saying I don't know too many aunties who wear dresses like that or bodycon dresses. Shit, come down here to Miami. Them aunties in the club still. Them grand, them grandmas in the club. Grandmas ain't what they used to be. The grandma used to cook on Sunday and vibe. Grandmas at brunch down here. They do not want to love it up, give it up. They still, grandma's still out here in these streets. Grandma gotta have a life too. Grandma's getting knocked down. Grandma's partying with their daughters and their grandkids sometimes down here. They is outside. Grandma, I seen grandmas down here with the thin shirts. They got nipple rings. These grandmas down here ain't playing. They still trying to get that back blown out. They don't give a damn. Grandma's down here. My mom always told me don't mess with them grannies. They got bop worms. I believe her. But I'm just saying, y'all, it's real old and it's lazy. Let it go. I don't give auntie and I'm fine as hell. Period. Period. <laughs> damn straight. Okay, I want to know. So sometimes I'll call women that I respect, like, not I don't know, your age or anything like that, but just for the auntie comment to you, see if you can find any respect towards it because it seems like you find it disrespectful. Um, I'll call women that I look at, that I respect like my mom, but like a mentor? our relationship is like a sister, auntie, if I respect you in those regards, regardless of your age, just a respect thing. So could you find respect in the auntie comment or is that completely nah, disrespectful? She hurt. She too much hurt. No, because at sense. the end of the day, it still boiled down to a certain look and a certain persona. Mm -hmm. And I'm not too sure if you all are familiar with Jackie, Ayana, Ayana, however you And at the end of the day, the day going to end. her name. But people felt the same vibe from her and they came on her page calling her auntie. And respectfully, she's blocking everybody who calls her auntie. So sister, if you're watching this, I completely understand. It would be the equivalent to somebody calling you, hey, chocolate. Hey, you know what I mean? Like, hey, skinny girl. Or hey, little Chad. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing. Because Jackie block her goddamn body. She used to follow me on Instagram back in the day. They got they a, bump, a, bunch of, a bunch of them IG girls, especially for the YouTube black body. They got a bottle there. I don't know what happened. They got a bottle hey, there on my that, Instagram. That's the kind of vibe it's that it gives. Gotta go. So unless you've been on it. Flip side of that, wouldn't you feel a way if I came with you like, hey, my little chocolate baby. You know what I mean? Especially. I love that. Like, well, I love <laughs> No, but like, it. I mean, this is a whole nother topic. Yeah, it, 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 it just hit a soft spot for her. And, and y'all, and, and the term already been then put a little bit of trauma on her ass. She don't want to hear it no more. So it'll never be a good turn for her, which is understandable. But if you can't ask people, say, do y'all think I look like an auntie? And then somebody answer, yeah, you look like an auntie. And then you try to comfort their pants or some shit. 
Don't ask no question. Don't, don't ask nothing you don't want to hear the answer to. For real, for real. Day. For me. So, like, auntie is a term of endearment for me. Hey, little chocolate baby, I love when a black woman, you come call me baby. Hey, hey, T.T., whatever you want. I totally, you yeah. I totally agree with you, but it's man. It's that they're saying it like an insult. Thank you. And then, like, respectfully, there's a lot of discrepancies. And we get, this is a whole other topic for a whole other day as it relates to colorism in the black community. But... It would be the equivalent of somebody calling you a name that is derogatory toward people who are chocolate. Yeah. Would be Goldberg. So would be that's Goldberg. That's the vibe that it give. Calling yeah. me auntie is not a compliment. Man, stop trying to make this shit about you, Red Hat. We talking. We talking about right now, right there, right here. I don't even know. It, don't know her name, but that's what we trying to make it about. Everybody want to make it about them. Man, you know you look like Whoopi in that joint. I mean, if you respect me, say that. Mm -hmm. But don't give me no backhand to compliment about calling me no auntie. I don't mm -hmm. think you gotta worry. I understand about what that. you mean. And then that. men like coming from a no, because somebody's still gonna find a way to call me auntie in the comments, but it's okay. <laughs> Block that. Yeah. Block. But you stood your ground, Jess, and we love it. And wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on um, this upcoming clip, um, it was probably one of the most analyzed and talked about, discussed, snip, cut up, whatever you want to call over TikTok, Instagram scene of season one. So let's take a look at what scene that was. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there and it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. What, also, what I don't like that the fact that you put briefcase? your hat. What would be why considered do you have a, hat a fake on? briefcase though? Fake briefcase I mean, the hair done. Doesn't... It's done. It's done. So why didn't you show your hair? That's what I wanted to do today. I don't understand. I just want to see your hair though. I get it. You feel me? I've, I've dealt with, you feel me, Chicago women most of my life. You okay. You feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles. You feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all yeah. that was. It's just weird talking nope. to my little brother. So. No problem. You can't say little. I'm, you, we the same age, darling. Let's be respectful. You sound like him, though. That's so because talking... we from the same place. So you don't like, no, you don't like people from your hometown. I never said and that. And that's respectful. <laughs> I can respect I that. just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have. Please let, let, let have the hiccup, the, the words you messed up, phrase, watch this. On your day-to-day -day speak. Oh, I'm so glad you had that in there. That day-to-day -day speak, they was letting her ass have that day-to-day -day speak in the comments, boy. Yikes. Arlette, you don't it's like not. you almost lost it just now. Once you start taking your tongue and playing with your side cheek doing this shit right here, you are you were almost cooked I, from your hometown. I never said and that. And that's respectful. <laughs> I, can respect I just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have. Watch this, watch this, watch your cheek. On your day-to-day -day speak. Day-to-day <laughs> <laughs> -day speak. The irony. <laughs> let's start. Let's start with Daryl. So <laughs> Daryl, after you know, watching that and kind of like in that moment, um, were you shocked at how you felt like she was coming at you or whatever it may have been? I can't say shocked because I've I've been through a lot of trials and tribulations. I've mm. been tested in ways I wouldn't expect it. Mm. And um I almost felt like I was I don't know, like, you know, if I if I come on there and I tell you I'm from Chicago and I got a couple drinks and you tell me that you from the same place, it's almost like you saying something like that to trick me up at my spot because everybody who from where I'm from and know people where I'm from, you just don't talk to them a certain way because mm. You know, yeah, you never know. We'll give you what you're looking for, and I'm, I'm just. And, hey, I even I know that shit. If on some Chicago shit, uh, the, the most regular person could have that. Get ready to get down in them. I want to rewind that. Like I almost feel like he basically saying I almost feel like she was trying me and wanted me to act out of character and wanted me to step out of who I am. Like she was just trying. She trying to go viral, and she went viral. You know what I'm saying? F for that damn phrase she messed up. Where I'm from and know people where I'm from, you just don't talk to them a certain way because, mm -hmm. you know, people will give you what you're looking for. And I'm, I'm just extremely proud of myself. Always. I, I go back and look at the clip sometimes because that is growth. That mm -hmm. ain't the man that I've always been. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of people were, you know, commending you on that. It seems like you took it pretty well. You didn't, you and, know. Hey, and she... Man, I'm trying to I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. I and I knew that. Oh, raise your voice, get upset, anything like that. You just you know let her know how you felt. Express raise your voice, get up. That was that would have been a, that's that's the minimum for somebody from from there. Express yourself and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then so Rizoma, <laughs> how um, like I guess I want to say during that situation. 
Um, the hell was you like thinking like, about? Right, I'm thinking of everything. I'm gonna fire at this guy. I'm gonna say it all at once. Like, what was going through your mind? In wow. So I guess I should just like kind of give you all my thought process. Mm -hmm. I no, I would have started off. So I guess I should like apologize. Looking back at the video, I did come off ignorant, mean, and rude. And then when he tried to justify himself and say, wait a minute, we're from the same place. We're the same age. I look at you like my little brother. You sound like my little brother. Like, ugh. she was hitting him with the brother. Ugh. That's what she was hitting him with. A lot of people are like, oh, you degraded him or anything like that. Which I can totally understand why they saw it that way. For me, it was more so like a correction. Mm -hmm. So you clearly came on to the show, you were playing a role, right? And like, this is my thought process. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna pop my balloon right away. But he came on sneakers, joggers, briefcase, sweater, trucker hat, and then a fake flower. And I was like, okay. Kept analyzing. He was in front of me. I saw that the zipper was in the back of the briefcase. I was like, oh, it's open. There's nothing in there. And I was like, okay. I was like, so if you're gonna play a role, at least play it correctly, right? Mm. But it was almost like you have asked it. And then if, like, if you're not playing a role and that's really who you are, then it's like, okay, can't be upset. Bottom line is, I analyzed the entire situation. I saw a bunch of things that I didn't like. And then it was like, please don't, like, please don't get upset about this. But me and my friends made a drinking game of it. And we wanted- Nobody cares. Nobody cares about this drinking game you guys made. Nobody cares if it's a card game and you're trying to sell it and make some money off of a, a terrible op, a terrible performance of yourself, a terrible a terrible showcase of yourself on the internet. Terrible. Instead of coming on here and say, "Yeah, I didn't handle that the best way," being a mature adult, I didn't handle that the best way. She didn't. No accountability. Don't take this the wrong way. But as me being disrespectful towards you on on that internet clip, we not only did that, we made a game of it. And we might even try to profit off it. Let's see. To see how many times he said, you feel me? <laughs> we couldn't even like take shots. We had to like have a regular drink because we like we couldn't do it. And why share that? Why why share? Nobody's amused by that. Nobody's amused. Terrence is smiling, but he he's always smiling. He's a happy guy. No amusement. She looking like, why is she sharing this? No amusement. You're still taking jabs at this guy. Shit. Some stories, take that shit and keep it with your friend group or take it to the grave. That's not amusing. That's why when you when you got a match and y'all had y'all follow up, he was just over it. That was the shortest follow up ever. That shit lasted for 42 seconds. So when I mentioned the higher vocabulary, I do want to apologize for that because I don't. Wow. So people kind of saw it as like, Oh, you're being rude. Mm -hmm. You're saying like he's stupid. Or I was like, no, not at all. It's just personally, I feel like if he was going to go on a date with someone, whether that was nerves or not, I can't imagine him being nervous on a date and we're talking. He says it over and over and over. And it's like, mm. so you saying the whole <laughs> higher vocabulary was for him saying you feel me? Yeah, like it his... wasn't like, oh, you don't know how to speak or anything, which is why I say I wish I would explain to myself more. Mm. Like, I couldn't imagine, like, us being on a date and then him saying it over and over due to nerves, and I'm just looking at him with disgust. Bro, there's no nerves, and she knows this. Well, she might, because she was, she might not. She was in a lineup. She wasn't coming out from behind the corner and having six, seven, eight men look at her. That's what he did. So somebody had never done this before. You come around the corner, and there's seven women grilling you with a balloon, and they just popping randomly. If you want a date, even if somebody nervous in the beginning of the date, the date going good, date going on, right, you, you tend to loosen up and get more comfortable. It's still not seven people. Shit, I've been to, I've, I've had job interviews where a panel of four, a panel of three pe three or four people would do that. That shit's nerve wracking. It's questions coming at you. You answering one question since you said something a certain way. Somebody got another question waiting on you. Are you even listening to the answer I'm giving you right now? You ask, you ask a question, I'm answering you. Another girl pop because she don't like how I answered your question. It's crazy. Oh, I spent too much time talking to you. This girl could pop. It's too much going on. I'm trying to see what I like, check out everybody's outfits without overly looking and being accused. Of, oh, you're trying to look at my butt. Oh, you're trying to look at my boot. It's a lot going on. Or like looking at him annoyed. And it's like, that's not, that's not fair. Like you deserve to be with someone who's like, oh, he's nervous. Like that's cute. Like, you know, he's saying you feel me. Like I still find it cute. I wouldn't find that cute. So okay. it's kind of like, it was more like a protective thing. Like I'm just giving you a correction. You're gonna play a role play right, and you're just not my type. But you're gorgeous though, and I said that. Mm. Nothing wrong with it. 
When you choose to correct someone, and then you yourself fail in your conveyance of your sentence, what does that look like to you? Oh yeah, I messed up, which is fine. And I'm sure everyone saw it as like... The term correct almost bothered me a little bit because as if I, who, what I'm presenting as myself is something wrong. Right. As mm -hmm. if, like, you could have just said that's something that you don't like, but you... And you even do it today. You take every single shot that you possibly can at everything about me. And it's like, like you don't, you didn't highlight every other gentleman as that such. Like, what about me that you see that you just want to take every pick at every problem That's that wild. you could possibly see? It wasn't like that. You why why come out here and say, oh, we went back and watched every time you say such and such. We took a shot. Why bring that up? You are, and it's and and it makes you look even bad because he's calm, he's composed, he's still saying inside himself, he's not stepping outside of his character. It just does not make you look like a nice person. I don't know no other way to put this. It does not make you look like a nice person. And then you insulted your own family, your brother, in the mix up. Your brother at home catching strays. He probably like shit. I ain't had nothing to do with this. But I, I, I'm because I watched your I watched your full episode, so I seen. How other guys spoke to you, how you spoke to other guys, and you feel me? Like, I don't think that there was one perfect man that you seen on the show, but you decide to speak on every little thing about this one man. So, like, I feel like it's corny because you keep constantly trying to reach out to me after the show. So, I honestly Whoa. feel like, I honestly. Nope. Oh, fudge, man. Oh, I was just giving you your hat, your hair, your crown, and your, and your, and your, and your everything because you was keeping it classy and wasn't going to stoop to our level. You was giving us the Michelle Obama. When they go low, we go high. Every little thing about this one, man. So, like, I feel like it's corny because you keep constantly trying to reach out to me after the show. So, I honestly Whoa. feel like... I honestly, no, I you, you, you try to play this kind, it's corny because you attacking me as a person. That's who I am. Bro. Like I came on the show, it's who I am. And you telling me that everything about me, you don't like. But then outside of the show, you want to have a conversation or a hug or a smile on my face or hey, Daryl, or, or it's a us. It ain't no us thing. The only reason why me and you had a viral clip is because I handled myself well. I very well could have been. I very well could have been looked at as a sassy or an evil man if I would have gave you the response that you deserved. But I gave you what I felt like is it, it needed to be presented because a lot of young men get tricked out of their spot dealing with um, young women like yourself. And I don't, I, I don't want to be the crap. Yeah, boy, yeah. if you ain't got your mic, Ron said, women will put you in a position or, or know how to get you or know what to do that will anger you. And, and it, you'll even see that in relationships, failed relationships. Okay, our relationship didn't work out. He's moved on. What can I do to hurt this guy? How can I hurt him? I can attack this character. I can lie to him and say this. We've even had women that have been on her show that have are, are tied up in some legal, legal issues that I didn't respond on or, or review or bring up in the past that didn't get their way with a man and say, hey, since I didn't get my way, I'm I'm going to allegedly say you assaulted me sexually. And 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 mama will lose their bag. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't like me. How can I hurt his feelings? Let's attack his money. Let's 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 try to let's try to hinder his career. Let's make him look crazy. It, it's it's people out there like that and and she did that and wanted that response and that back and forth and he didn't give that to her. And I commend him for that. But the sad part is she doesn't even realize what she did. She still doesn't. She just sits up there and be like, no, 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 no. And that's the worst type, bro. Because when shit pop off and it hit the fan, that's when they're going to play the victim. Sometimes you make your bed and you got to lay in it. You're not going to come across a bunch of people that are like him. And that's what he was saying earlier. He was like, many men, if you run into the right one in the street, the hell with an argument. You're going to be in a physical altercation with some of these crazy ass dudes. And he's trying to tell her, you need to be careful the way you talk to people because everybody's not uh, 
brave enough or respectful enough just to turn the other cheek and walk away. So just be careful with how you carry yourself because sometimes your actions have a reaction or, or has a, con a consequence that comes along with it. Ash out example. I want, I want an example that no matter what, you could still be able to hold yourself in a certain type of, a certain type of light. No, that's fine. I guess for me, it was more so the moment you walked out, I felt as if like, because I felt like you were playing a role, but you later on came out and said you did lie about certain things, which means you were playing a role. You She's still playing. She's still coming at him. She you already disrespected. Hold on. You already disrespected all the women on there because now we can't even make a genuine decision based off of the information you gave us. What's the role? What's the role that I played? I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure out. That's okay. why I mentioned okay. the briefcase and when everything. I, when I came on the show and I spoke my truth, mm -hmm. everything that I told you guys was the truth about me. I was asked. She's trying to say the role because of his follow up when he got a match and he told the girl he got his own spot, but. The spot he has in Arizona, he shares with his grandmother, somebody he's helping out, but he has his own spot in like Chicago, Detroit, or wherever he's from. So the girl called him out and was like, you don't even got your own spot type shit. So that's what that's what she, I think she, that's what she's kind of rolling to as far as playing a role, as far as like that. The question about space from one young lady, anything that I said to you all that I presented, this is me, this is Daryl, I have a briefcase. What is mm -hmm. fake or a lie about having a briefcase? I seen a flower at the store on some like on some like slick gentleman stuff, whoever I was going. If, if I did like win with somebody, I was going to take the flower off and present it to her. Like, I think about little cute things like that. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Good job. Bro. So you, these motherfuckers, these girls, these are cool. What is what is fake? Like what? What's the what's the character that, awesome. that got presented on the show? On some Eric shit, can I interject? Because I did, I made a comment, and like I remember, like we we had a little back and forth. We did but, have a back and forth. I'm gonna speak on that as well. Let like, me made a comment yeah. hold, on, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold oh, on. Let me. You made a comment saying that Rizoma was right. And no, so I, I, before, because I want to set it up, because I was when I first watched that episode, that really it, it really affected me on the behalf of him, because I was like, dang, she really went in on him. You did on that follow up. You verbally said that you lied, and that's where I was like, man, like I was really for you. You so know what, what I'm saying? So what was Rizoma right about? That's what. So what, that's what where I was coming from, was. and that's a good question. Because Rizoma spoke about my presentation. Yeah. Um, like what I was wearing, how it was, just like how all the men spoke about your presentation. Mm -hmm. And it's odd for me because when I watched your episode, I supported your content. I went to your page. I reacted to it on my TikTok. And I, I don't know. There was no it, tags. It there seemed, was no follows. I, I did I, not see that support. It, it, it I seemed, didn't hear it. it. It seemed as though like you're a content creator, like with what you have going no, on. No, I'm a photographer. A, you're a photographer. So mm -hmm. your, your, um, your uh your Instagram is a business, right? It's monetized situation. Mm -hmm. So me putting that in front of the forty four thousand followers that I have on TikTok and saying like y'all should support her, they came at this black woman for wearing a I, I hat. I never saw. It's I not, never listen, saw no support. Ma'am, it's not for you to see. I'm letting you listen. I didn't do it. it for I her. mean, but if you're gonna I do claim authentic that, things. I'm listen. That, how is that authentic? If I'm he's like, saying he did it, just because you ain't see it, don't mean he ain't do it. Stop. He he he's saying he did it just because you didn't see it does not mean it's not authentic. What are you? Uh, uh, you handing out verified checks? You authenticating stuff? Let him wrap it up. Man, let him finish, Taylor. Hold on. One I'm just letting you know what actually happened. I'm on my platform telling people that they should look at your platform because I don't like how the men treated you. And then you went under there and you said Rizoma was right about attacking. That's not what me. I said. You said maybe Rizoma, maybe Rizoma was right. So what is she right about attacking my? visible appearance mm. like the men attacked you answer so the, the question. Man was right about just answer the question please just answer this question and don't start another question oh you so i in a way i kind of see how you manipulate situations and what i why i say that is because or let don't let her do this please make her answer the question in a way i see how you manipulate because what i see that you do is she's not answering the question in, in <laughs> somebody said, mm -hmm. um, how I see that is if you were gonna support me, there was no tag on that, and yeah, that like being someone in the same position, 
and that's how I can recognize it. And this is a healing moment. Like I want to get on the same page. I have to show you I'm supporting you for you to feel like. Well, I mean, you said you were supporting. Uh, exactly. If somebody say, "Yo, T, I rock with your content. I show everybody your content at the barbershop." Well, you ain't tagged me or show me the barbershop or show me a video or you showing everybody at the barbershop. How you are you really supporting? Yeah, T, I just told you. I, I share with all my friends at the bar. We watch you at the barbershop. We all chop it up. Like you funny. Yeah, that sounds good, but how would I know if you ain't tagged me? That sounds crazy. Me, but I, to me, I didn't. All I was seeing was that I'm 60. I'm but not 28. I, I, I'm Willy Wonka. I'm but listen, Peter. if I do it, if I do it like, hey yo, if I hit you up in your DM, hey yo, come on my TikTok. I'm, I, I just, that would have been shouted you out. That would have been a, a, a bridge that's me point. Wanting a thank you from. I supported you on my platform Regardless because I see it, it didn't matter if you see well, it or not. I, I want mean, my people to go support a black woman. So, who say that so she, no accountability, no acknowledgement. Watch this. Uh, and I had this okay. She do photography and I'm trying to be a model. So it. But you how, say, how, in a way, in a way, and no, I'm, I'm going to stand strong as a we woman. Know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we <laughs> know. We know you're going to stand strong and, and, and not acknowledge or try to understand. Even though three or four people confirm, like, yeah, that's what he was doing. Stay strong. That'll be the death of y'all. That's going to be the death of some of y'all. Staying strong. Because you can't uh, compromise and be like, okay, I can totally understand where you're coming from. And I agree where you're coming from. But I still feel this way. Not just saying, yeah, I hear that, but I'm still staying strong. Ten toes down on what I said who wants to i want to like i'm saying i want to connect with you and i want to build a bridge of understanding right now personally i didn't i didn't feel supported but i could say okay. i could say i do get you because on the youtube video i did i did say something to resume like dang girl like and you didn't see that um and that's where i could take accountability with that so i didn't know that you supported me um, where I was coming from with Rizoma is I think that in this type of setting, there is something that people who are behind the screen don't have, which is the vibe and the feel. And I feel like maybe Rizoma was coming from a place that of like, yeah, she was saying all that. And I'm not, I'm not saying what she was saying all the way was right. But that's but, what you said on the, that's what but you I'm said saying, on I'm saying that I'm, I'm kind of trying to give you the perspective of why I was saying maybe she was right. And I think it was maybe her discernment because then as I stood for you and I did say something and then you openly said you were lying. I was like, Oh, like, dang, I was supporting someone. You go back to this again. You y'all talking about the follow up. He's talking about before the follow up, man. Before that, he's talking about the show. You agreed with Rizoma from what she did and what she said on the show. Y'all, y'all, he's not talking about that. And who was being deceptive, and maybe that's what she was picking up on. And so that's why I was saying reality TV show maybe Rizoma that, was right. That's, that's why I stopped watching reality TV. That's why I stopped watching reality TV. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this, bro. I'm not a fan of this. Rizoma spoke to me about how I spoke mm -hmm. and the clothes that I was wearing. You'd say this is the third time saying this shit. Ed, on social media, Rizoma was right. What was Rizoma right about? Was, maybe she was right to because you want to be so even though you might have you might have like because of what you seen watching the TV show, mm -hmm. you might have wanted me to be something in your imagination. And no, I understand I was, that. But when I came on and I told my truth, I never lied about my truth. When I was asked a question, I didn't answer the question all the way authentically as I should have. I, I, I understand if Rizoma has said something like, you feel me, like, uh, I feel like you up here faking or you up here lying to us. And then you up on social media saying Rizoma is right. Rizoma came at the way that I talked and the way that I had dressed, just like the dudes came at the way that you dressed. So I feel like that's corny for you to say, maybe Rizoma was right, ha, ha, ha. And then when I say, my, and my response is, I support your business, and I think you're a beautiful black woman. I don't like how you was treated on the show. Why would you hype somebody else being evil when people was evil to you on the show? You still- No answer, no answer. She has no clue. She never thought that this moment would be here. He would be bringing this into a full circle in this horseshoe. Reunion, love, connection. They have nothing for it. That's a, that's a genuine. That's a that's a genuine question. He's communicating great, guys. That's that's a that's a that's a great question. It's, it, uh, questions that need answers. Still trying to stay on the Rizoma was right. I I ain't see that you no. supported me. Like it, 
I had to block you. It, okay. I wasn't finna go back and forth with you. All right, let's hear from somebody else. Get her ass about yes. it. Um, I just want to speak on this very briefly. Um, I think where you two are getting confused is that we're comparing apples to oranges. Is what he's saying and it's that this particular situation was separate outside of the situation that y'all are trying to claim that he lied about. So yes. I completely get where you're coming from, yes. Humble Hood Thank you. or Daryl. So Thank I just you. want to acknowledge that. This is something also also that I do want to acknowledge as a woman, because I, I can only speak for women because I'm a woman. As it relates you can't to even men. Speak for, you can't even speak for women because you can speak for yourself. Shit, I can't speak for all men. I can just speak for me. And how much they value respect. When we talk about correction, we have to talk about intent versus impact. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, you have to be careful with what you say and how you say it. So although you may have felt that way, the way your words landed, mm -hmm. he wasn't going to be in a space to receive that. So I just want to acknowledge that as women, we have to do better at talking to men with respect and we have to do better at how we deliver messages because you have the ability to either build this man up or tear him right back down. And we already know the struggles that black men go through. Mm -hmm. So I just want to acknowledge that on your end, Humblehood, because I completely get where you're coming from. And this isn't me taking no side or the other. And I, respectfully, I do agree that he supported you. I, I don't feel like he owed you that tag either because I agree. It made it that much more authentic because I'm effing with you. And you don't even know it for real. The scene. That's what I'm saying. That's the equivalent to. I'm low-key calling mother sassy. Yeah. She's talking about her hat and everything. Oh, oh, that's right. what I'm saying. Like, yes. Yeah. Oh, so, so respectfully, I, I just wanted oh to God. let you know I acknowledge what you're saying and I get your perspective in this totality and that we got to do better and Gosh be careful how you speak to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just be good. Be 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 a, try to be as decent as you possibly can. You never know. Okay. All right. Cool. Just don't lie on my mm -hmm. What the fuck? She's cooked, bro. God damn, she's childish, bro. That was over. Just don't lie on my name. Pointed the mic at him. Look at Arlette. Please don't let don't let this carry on no more, man. That is so childish, bro. Just I just had to I gotta get the last word. See, she still has that in her. Like I, I got, I want to get the last. Just don't lie on my name. It was over. God dang, bro! I don't know how anybody deal with that. I could not deal with that in a relationship, a friendship, even as a family member. You be the person I be keep my distance from. Yeah, just be good. Be 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 a, try to be as decent as you possibly can. You never know. Okay. All right. Cool. Just don't lie on my mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to our next topic. I'll show you a DM right now. <laughs> Go ahead. I would love for you to do so. I sent you one message and I said congrats and I hope That's you That's reaching out to me way. outside of the show. Yeah, you said I can't. <laughs> that boy said, that boy said, I'll show you the DM right now. That is reaching out to him. Don't DM me. If, don't congratulate me or DM me if you publicly attempted to humiliate me. Why? Why would you do that? I'm good on that. I don't need that from you. I'm reaching out to you though when I you do can. it. You can. You on my Instagram and my TikTok. That's two different platforms. TikTok, I'm, I don't even When I came TikTok. in today, you ran up on Daryl Hugs. Well, like, yeah, because there's no bad blood. If you feel it, some but, type but of way for If it ain't no bad blood, at the most, hit a nigga with a head nod. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's good? <laughs> All right. All right, y'all boys straight? Yo, yo. That's it. I don't need no hug, baby. I don't need no hug, no side hug, no grandma hug, no church hug, no no hug, baby. I don't even need no dap. If you would have tried to hug me, I would have looked at your ass like this. Right here. Just, you see that face? That's how I would look at you if you tried to hug me after you did this boy like this. This man like this. You then say that so then I don't speak to you. But I'm... Ma'am. Yeah. It's all right. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> let's let's move on. Okay. He right. So I'm with him. I don't care. See me in the comments. Rolling. <laughs> Trinity, on your segment, um, seems like you had a little bit of something to say about truck drivers. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at that clip. Okay, let's start over here. Why do we end up popping Tony's? Um, that was kind of. Boring. I forgot how boring. I forgot how crazy Tony Fit look. This nigga Fit man. The pants got got a design on them. That that damn that tie kind of it don't match the design on the pants. But I feel like he tried to put it together. 
And then that, I don't know, man. This shirt, that's the shit that come in the package with the tie, like on Macy's. I don't know where that vest came from, man. And then you, I forgot you had this ill ass pink on. This pink was a, that was a terrible decision. That was terrible. And the hair, the hair, it got, oh, look, it got the rumbles in there. There's a rumble in that jungle. Corn rolls or whatever you got up under there is it's crazy work, man. I forgot about this, man. It wasn't nothing like more. Wait, just, what was I, I just drive trucks. I mean, you asked what I do. That's what I do. Okay. So, did you want to elaborate a little bit on what you meant by that? He didn't sell himself. Hmm. I had options, many options that didn't pop their balloon, and he didn't sell himself. He man, your hair look twenty times better right now, man. I don't know if that would have been through it. That was the last week of it being in. But this is this is your look. This is it. You know what I mean? This is your look, man. Hair wise. He was just a truck driver. Mm. And that's it. So it was kind of boring. The response was boring. The occupation for me and my lifestyle, boring. What's your lifestyle? It was never a question See, of it. She getting an attitude with it now because you starting to understand these young women and, and, and how these dudes getting upset and dealing with it. Man say he drive trucks. Most truck drivers I know, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, they making six figures, pulling in money. It's a peaceful job. They on the road, by themselves, chill, travel, see different cities, have time to yourself. They make good money. They on the road. They come off the road. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Just, uh, just as, as him trying to sell himself, you trying to sell yourself too. It's not just because I'm coming around the corner and y'all on the lineup, you trying to sell yourself to me. It ain't like that. Y'all supposed to be trying to get to know each other and see what's up. That's a bland-ass question. You ask me what I do, I'm going to tell you what I am do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to tell you what kind of, oh, I drive this truck and it got these nice new wheels on it and I just put a new bump on the back. Oh, and I love it. The seat is, man, top tier. If I knew how much truck drivers make because mm -hmm. I don't really care. This is a partnership. I'm a creative. The first thing I said when I came home, I like all things that put me into my creativity. Mm. How creative can you be just driving the route? Man, I follow, um, I don't follow, but I've seen a couple. That's why I know this shit about truck drive. I got a couple friends at truck drive, but I don't really be on their business. But I literally have seen people create YouTube channels of truck driving, what it took to get their license, them getting into the business, them saving up enough money to buy their own trucks, how much money they make, inspiring people, helping people, and showing people how they can get their CDLs and how they can work for themselves and how they can not only buy one truck, buy two or three trucks, and now they own multiple trucks. So now you have employees working for you that's driving the trucks. I've seen this from content creators, young guys under 25 that are grinding and got that dog in them. But it can be very interesting. I've seen older people that have channels and their wives or significant others travel with them sometimes when they drive trucks and they spend quality time like that together. You just never know. You just can't be this small minded and think like this. Um, and even if you think like this, it's a small minded aspect that you're not trying to open your mind and, and just think about what you don't know. Think about the unknown. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. It's just looking at the sky and being like, oh, man, the sky is beautiful. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to, it's, it's past the sky. Shit, there's other galaxies and other worlds and other all, dimensions. There's all kinds of shit out there. You know, I, I don't know. I, I went and bought two telescopes. You feel me? That That's how intrigued I was just by just looking at the, the, the sky, falling in love with the moon at night, going to the beach. I don't know, man. Does yeah. like but does what he does change the possibility that he could still be We're a building creative. a life together. This is a partnership. Right. So if you feel like you're most valuable driving the truck, maybe you might not be the partner to build the life that I'm trying to build. He doesn't feel that way. He's just answering the question that you asked very straightforwardly. Yeah. She what don't do want you that. do? I'm a truck driver. She's not going to say so it. So I feel like that might not fit my partnership. Who? Who? I want to be with someone that makes me feel like a creative. Somebody shoot me her Instagram and see what, let me know what she's creating or her YouTube or something, please. Let me, send me something, please. What, what fits your partnership? A creative. Because I'm a creative. Of what the fuck are you, what kind of creative? 
And that's another thing about uh, like, like I went on that little rant in the beginning of this video, being a creative. I've been doing this full time for over 10 years, probably been creating and uploading videos 14, 15 years. So I I beat the hell out that wave of everybody wanting to be a content creator. I was in a wave of doing vlogs in 2010, 2011, and people looking at me like I'm crazy. Why is this guy filming himself? Imagine someone walking around like this with the camera what's going on guys like you know what i mean filming myself like talking to myself and shit people were really looking at me like i had a problem and i still stayed in it didn't break kept filming did my thing show close-ups what's editing what are you filming what are you doing with it? what do you like you know what i'm saying i was on that before it was a thing we, we wasn't even called content creators you know what I mean? You might have said, oh, you're a YouTuber, but now it's a, I'm a UGC creator. I'm a d -d -d creator. I'm a content creator. Hey, guys, come with me today as I do this. And it's oversaturated, but I love it. I love that y'all picking up a phone and y'all documenting it because it's a beautiful thing. I get to see myself five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago and, and, and see the growth. But I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't think I'm better than the next. I don't think I'm better than someone that has a regular job. Co creating content isn't for everyone, but everyone thinks that these, these even the kids growing up, what do you want to be? I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be I want to be a streamer. I want to be like Costanette. A lot of people don't even have the personality to, to do that shit. And a lot of y'all favorite creators that y'all meet, y'all meet me, this toned down. This 60, 70% Pendel. You know what I'm saying? I really be, I be turning, I be typing to, you know what I'm saying, calm down a little bit because I don't want to say the wrong thing. Woo -woo, not offend nobody. But I'm, I'm, I'm up there, you know what I'm saying, as far as energy-wise, and this is me in person. But I met some of my favorite creators back then, years ago, and they, they're, they're a dud in person. They're dry. They're too good. They're standoffish. They're, hey, hey, man, what the hell? Where the hell is your energy at? I watch you. You hype. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. Where the hell is that at? You know what I'm saying? Even on my worst day, I'm, I'm going to dap you up. I'm going to meet you. And I'm going to say what's up and take a picture. I ain't never going to say no take a picture. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm with my family and some shit like that. And, I, and, and, and we're doing some serious. But other than that, we're going to vibe. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to kick it because I got strangers that run into me that are excited to see me. People I never met in my life. That picture could have made their day. Made their week. I'm, I'm cool on it. That's not it. I don't like, these, I don't like that attitude. You want to be a creative, a creator? This is not the right attitude. You go to these events. These big ass events. I ain't just talking about like a regular event or woo -woo. I'm talking about events with the top creators in the world. And you sit up there with this attitude like this, you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Cause I don't give a hell if it's fake or not, but everybody there is happy and smiling ear to ear. And you're already gonna stick out anyway because you're black. So you best believe you got a closer eye on you. Y'all gotta get it together, man. It's like a job. Be be nice and be kind to all people, man that the person would have that you would that ain't it suitable for you um i like things that are artistic and not even just artistic an example of the job like an example of a job it's not really the job is not the problem the person was the problem he got so a he truck driver he got would not cooked. be a problem if he was a, a truck driver they have the mindset of an entrepreneur. She's but cool. you don't know the mindset. You're just meeting him. This is the first question. All I know. Asking. All you gave me is you drive trucks. And then again, if the man want to just drive trucks, let him just drive trucks. We as black people are under the mindset that you got to have eight streams of income. You got to be an entrepreneur. You got to do all that. Some people's life is so happy being so simple. You do not have to do that. You do... Some people don't care about a fancy car. Some people don't care about a big ass house. We not down with none of that shit. I got people down the road that live here in my neighborhood. And it's, it's, it's a cost of money to live here now because you know these houses are up. But they've been living here 30 years. Their kids have moved on and they're like, our house is paid for, but you know, we're getting older. It's too big for us. And, we, and our kids don't want it. We don't know what to do with it. The kids don't even want that shit. You thinking, yeah, I'm about to get this set up. It, don't do not do that because people be like, oh, I want a big house. I'm going to have, have this for the kid, keep it in family. That's, that's your life that you want for you. Your jits might not even want that. Your spouse might not even want that. You might get that and then realize, I don't even want that. That's all I know. But nope. that was the answer to the question. That's all you... Okay, so many... There are other men up there. Many She's men gave cooked. different answers. But what they do, and they sold their self a little bit more. You were up there to sell yourself. Right. 
you did not sell yourself as well as the other men. Somebody had to go. So what would be a suitable answer? Is like what's a, an example? No, there's no suitable one. answer. The truth. Thank is you. The Thank you. Thank you. And, and she was the she was. I didn't bit my damn lip fucking around with this dumbass answer. Um, she uh she looked had a look of disgust on her face earlier when she started talking, but this this is what this what this is what happening out here in the dating world. This is what's happening. She does not have one. Thank you. Answer. I'm right. picking through my options, and from the options. Just the truck driver and nothing else, not the page. So you wanted him to be like, I'm a truck driver and I do this. Is that what, like... She doesn't know. She doesn't know. And this is going to be another example of getting people getting destroyed in the comment sections. And you looking back and being like, damn, this really probably wasn't a good look. But still being stubborn enough and not having no accountability and not saying that. Then you probably got your friends talking about, I'm on your side, girl. Hype you up. Not holding you accountable. Not, not... You were kind of looking. No, for I just expected the truth, mm -hmm. and the truth was just not the truth that was compatible with me. Can I ask you a question? How old are you? I'm 23. Sound about right. Sound about 23. Sound about 23. 20 sounds about 23. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Um. At this big age of 31, 31, not 50, I just want to clear that out. This camera is remarkable right now. Even Thanks. with her leaning forward. It's blowing that guy in the back. I'm sorry, guys. It's film shit. Things change when you get a lot older. Mm -hmm. um, I ain't going to hold you. You got me tired in the booty hole up here. Mm -hmm. Because do you know how many good men are truck drivers? Yeah. To hear you say that, it's there's crazy. nothing wrong with a good man being a truck driver. It's just no. that of my options that I had to pick from, the least, the one that I was attracted to the least was the one that just said truck driver and gave no context description or nothing else. And I feel like she has the right <laughs> to say that. But hear me out though. Respectfully, I could see why men be frustrated because I'm ready to pull my hair out. Nigga be, nigga be, nigga be torn. Nigga be, nigga, if, uh, I got a good job. I work hard. I'm, uh, I'm happy where I'm at. I make good money. I'm just trying to find somebody to share with and date somebody. And I'm trying to seriously date and settle down. What you do? I'm a truck driver. Oh, that's boring. All right. If you're not attracted to me, why you ain't pop? Why you hell is you asking me questions? The least attractive man up there told me he was a truck driver. Get me out of there, fam. Pop my balloon. Because you did not give a concise answer. They asked you 15 million times. Can you give me an example of a, of a job and you answer it every butch way but the question there's no ideal there's no ideal 23, specific baby. job it's the person your job can change at any moment Just and the right, person that out. gave the answer so you I, couldn't even give me creativity in your answer me and she does not speak for all women um i think with time and age and maturity because that's how old people say mature um <laughs> she'll get it but at this big age it is if you gonna miss out on a good man because he drives a truck, and then respectfully, men are very direct. So if you want a question to be asked, or if you want a answer. specific answer, then you need to frame your question. You need to frame that whole up. I'm gonna tell you what you want to have and be like, "Well, we finished with that." If you want to get picked, sell you yourself mean, a little bit better. No, I understand. Nah, nobody selling. Nobody was there. <laughs> Pop the balloon or find love. We're getting to know each other. I'm not selling myself to you. You're not. The pick, just because you're coming around the corner. They're not choosing you just because they have balloons. It's a mutual thing. Once it's one balloon left and a person left, she calls y'all to the front and say, hey, do you have, are you, you want to be a match with him? Do you want to be a match with her? I think we have a match. Nobody's selling, not, you, you're telling yourself. And then when you do sell yourself, you end up like the dog dude over there when he was like, I got a house, I got a pool, I got a car, I got a dog, I got a dog. And then that shit's not authentic. I don't want you selling yourself to me. I don't want to sell myself to you. I want us to come together, communicate, talk, and like what both of us have going on mutually and authentically. Not because I sold you this dream. I'm just trying to, I'm not a man, but just from what I've experienced with me, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, Y'all are very direct. So if you right. want a certain answer, you need to ask it a certain way. And when you say something as vague as that, sure. you're not going to reap the response that you're wanting. Um, I will say you are doing yourself a disservice 
and you could potentially be missing out on a whole bunch of men she because he could be creative and the man could have two cents to his name. He could be a truck driver and have about she two twenty three though. Bank. So at twenty three, at I would just say I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt because you still are young and you have so a lot the of cash to do. determines the value of the man. No, but as it relates to um, occupation. That's what you're implying. That I want a man who could be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur implies that he it's has to something about the capital. So. Entrepreneur. Er, uh, most entrepreneurs are <laughs> are in the red, especially that first year. I don't think y'all understand, bro. Like when I and I, I I say, oh yeah, I've been doing this for 19 years full time. I had a regular job. I would get off of work, rush, have someone help me film. Yo, find anybody I could find. I didn't have lights yet. I'm like, yo, we got to film before it gets dark. But even before I left my job, before I said, hey, I'm leaving this job, and I was at a job where I was making the lowest at that job, I was making as 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 almost as much as the boss at the job on social media. But they had no idea. And, I, and the only reason I didn't leave sooner, because I had health and dental benefits. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not all, all, people say entrepreneur, but a lot of people don't have that dog in them. Y'all sit up here and watch these reactions and be like, yo, T, what's up with the reaction? Y'all be wanting these reactions same day, and I want to give them to y'all same day and ASAP. But it takes time. I got to download the video. I got to record the video. I got to I gotta edit some snippet the front and back of the video. I got to upload the video. I got to do the, the script. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got to push the video out. That's just this video. When y'all get two or three videos in a day off reaction tips, and then I'm doing my own pop the balloon and I'm reaching out, people reaching out, I'm emailing, location, setting it up, paying for location, refreshments, getting people down on time, people canceling the day of. Man, I, I'm just me. And I sit back and I make this and I upload it and I sit back and people enjoy it. I'm like, God damn, that feel good. I was tired and I thought to myself, this might be my last one, y'all. In my head, that's what I'm thinking to myself. But once, I, once that shit drop and y'all eat it up, have a good time, oh, oh, we back at it. I got that dog with me. Oh, wait, oh, oh, wait, the, ne the next one going to be better, bitch. That's just me. Everybody don't have that in them or that consistency. I know no one. I know no one that is as consistent as me and has been doing it as long as me. And I have no control over viewership because the algorithm hasn't always been like this. If you had a lot of subscribers, they shooting that shit out to all your subscribers. It's not like that. They shooting out the 10% of your subscribers. If you do good with that 10%, they'll shoot out the 20%. If you do good with that 20%, it, that's BS. I have no control over that. You know what I'm saying? Things I got control over in my life, complete control, I'm a beast. How y'all think a nigga look, look, still got abs at this age? Still fit, still looking good, still running around. I got that dog in me. Everybody's not built to be an entrepreneur. Mindset, baby. I feel like we've been hearing you out and I on her end yeah. as, as a 23 year old if that doesn't comply with what she wants to engage with and maybe she might not feel engaged with somebody who's older or who's doing that that's why when I do the part of the balloon my shit said 25 or older uh, the first two 25 or older then I went to 23 and I really I still just did 25 or older it was one person under under 25 25 or older. It's a different mindset. You're 23 years old. You're four, four and a half years removed from high school. You're one year removed from college. You still got student loans and debts. You don't even know what you want to do for real, for real with your life. You're not looking for love at 23. You in the club still. You having a good time. I know I was. At 23, I just got finished with college. I was a student athlete. I wanted to have fun. These people controlled my life for four years. Told me when to eat, sleep, everything. Then she has the right to just say, "Hey, that just was a little bit too boring for me." And As you sat here girl. earlier and said that everyone deserves to have their own preference, and I prefer a man that I can partner with as a creative. What do you do? And create the life that we're gonna create. Somebody send me the IG or the YouTube. I, I got to see what these creatives are looking like. I got to see everybody that's creative these days. We need to put a, a number cap. I don't even want to say number cap because sometimes people got dope content but they don't got the numbers. I don't even want to. But everybody a creative. And build together. This, this, is, like this, is, so. this is this is this is my qualm with this, right? You don't got no plan. Like you're not giving us nothing concise to go off. None because, of you guys so are on, the on, men. Hold on, hold on. I have not talked this whole time, and you gonna cut me off. So you you can't effectively talk and listen at the same time. So that that, that means you can't multitask. Everybody, twenty three. Twenty three. I'm glad this shit about to wrap up. I'm sweating. Look at this shit. I done lost three pounds in this whole fucking with Arlette. 
Barlett, 23. Says that who don't listen. Go ahead, Jay. I, I would come out the street, but I ain't going to do it. Bars. Say that who, who listen. Just kidding. Bars. Sorry, Everybody say that who listens to reply and not understand. Facts. Right? So, um, Fuck you don't have a plan. Like, if I'm trying to court you, if I'm trying to date you, what does a creative look like? Because I have a lot of creative minds. I do Uber and Lyft. I have so many conversations with so many people. I could put a video up here. We could have a podcast, a vlog. So yeah, we could do a creative thing like that. You could roll with me. You know what I I'm just, saying? And I just said that. I just told y'all as truck drivers that's, that's documenting this shit and doing People are monetizing. They're doing it. So as a creative, that's how I know you ain't really on that creative shit. Because as a creative, you see creating in every aspect of life. It's people that get paid to film themselves falling asleep. They live stream themselves sleeping and make money. It's always a way to create. If they wanted to, the people who set this show up, what do you want? I'm today in life, come to me today in life where I go to work and I do behind the scenes of a pot balloon to find love by our lead. This is how it goes down. And they show the lighting, what goes into it, how people walk in, refreshments, chilling, after show, vibes. That's creating. You can create. I buy tennis shoes, open the box, show you the shoes, put them back in the box, and then resell them. Hmm, creating. I just want to so, add. So I just need to, I just need some kind of, as men, we need a platform. Now, if you're not feeling them, say that. That was it. I wasn't feeling I, it. But I you never it. said that. So if you had it came out and said, you know what, you were kind of bland when you, you said that. You were boring. I said it, that. Exactly. So it's not the truck driving. It's just... You know what? I would have had it. If you watch the whole episode and not just the edited clip, you would see that I said with no context. I'm going off what you just said right now. I said with no context and nothing else. I'm going off what you just said right now. I'm going off what you said. You said, I want somebody who I could create with. Yeah. Yeah. But you didn't give no context for that. I, I, I'm not going I'm not going to specifically speak on um, like the create part. I do want to say if she is starting from the beginning of the line, and she asks, what do you do? And every man states some of their hobbies as well as their profession. And then she gets to one guy and he said, I just drive trucks. I don't think it's that wrong for her to say that's boring. Because it's not like she didn't have other examples to, 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 to go off of. So I see what everybody's saying. Like, and, and I, I, I actually I agree. know the young lady. So I get what she means by creativity. Like, it, 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 she she wants her. It's the second one he didn't save now. Her mind to be expanded. You feel me? And and there's by not much means. thinking being done when you're driving. I mean, well, not I mean, not much creativity. Route, I, you I, can I, be. I, I, I would lose that because you on a route. It it is truck driving is a very serious and a very is it, it's a creative job. But I'm just saying, and like on on your behalf, I I because truck driving is creative. I'm just saying if everybody else say they do this this and that. And then one just say, I just drive trucks. I don't think it's that bad to be like, oh, that's all. That's yeah, I wanted to add about what she was trying to talk to you about. It wasn't trying to like come for you. It's just because she's older. She's just trying to drop a jewel in the sense that they say it's not an attack. It's just saying maybe if you, uh, cause I get what you're saying, right? It's boring, right? But we're on the show and different that it could be more to him. So your response is, is very important. The words With that, that response, I didn't even want to figure out what more was to you. Yeah, I'm not speaking on that. Everybody will come for you on the internet no matter what you say. But you individually, your response, that's what she was getting at. It may block it from a, a real good man there just because you think that he's boring, you know? He could like he could have been a whole creative. A individual. man that knows he's more than a truck driver will understand. Everyone, by I say, every one of these gentlemen sold themselves. I watched every episode. All of us sold ourselves. He's... All he said was truck driving, bro. I know about you a little bit from the show. I know about you a little bit from the show. I know about you and you. And I spoke personality. on I'm not speaking on that. Though. I'm speaking on what she was saying, referencing to her. Yes. As far as finding somebody that could be that because you can't. Shit, he might not have been that interested in her either just for him to just say truck driving. Take it or leave it, bitch. Judge a book by its cover. You know what I'm saying? It's just and that simple. Last thing on my end, I just want to say like not everybody's on the same track. And I think that's where I'm coming in to defend because I'm just like, you know, she's 23. You, your strategy, you might be thinking about marriage. She might just be, you know, wanting to continue. And I, I didn't watch Mar her. I'm, I didn't watch I'm getting her married. Episode. I'm talking about building a life. I'm thinking about marriage. Okay. Okay. All it was, okay. well, basically what I'm saying, it was love. It was a no attack. It was, she was looking out, you know, like. You can be entitled to your own standards, yeah, but preferences, example, 
Standard would be, I don't allow men who cheat. Preference, I need a man who's six feet. Y'all do the math. I don't got nothing else to say about that. And I'm interested to see what the folks gonna say when they see this. <laughs> All my life, my I opinion has been, has held a lot of weight. So all it is is my opinion. I yo said all my life, my opinion held a lot of weight. Yo, twenty three. <laughs> uh, all your life since fucking went middle school. You twenty three, nigga. <laughs> all my life, my opinions have held weight, bro. You one year removed from college. If you went, you four years removed from high school. What are we talking about? All my life. In, in everybody's letting it hold as much weight as it obviously does and she must have been a team captain or some shit in high school play some sports or something i'm not gonna be with that man he was boring i said what i said you ain't driving the truck around here <laughs> so park the whip or flip it somewhere else because it's boring i'm over it the conversation is still boring the men are still gonna come that that's 23. And that's the problem. That's not the problem, but that's what they think. They think the, the men are always going to keep coming and it's just going to keep rolling. She's young. She don't get it. She And that's what she that's what she's trying to tell her right here. She's trying to let her know, like, yo, you're not understanding, but that's her mindset. I don't like the truck driver. It's boring. It doesn't sound fun. It's not, you know what I'm saying, spontaneous enough for me. The men will always keep coming. Y'all got to listen to what she said. And older women, you ain't got to be that much older because it's cool. Because even dating, you know, they get around 27, 28. Now it's dating for intentions. I need to settle down. They done been a couple weddings. The little white friends that you went to school with, they starting to get married and shit. They having kids. You're like, wait a minute. When I was 16, 17, I said I was going to get married around this age. Life start life in. You start to think about, am I ever going to be able to afford a home? Do I want kids? Can I afford kids? Daycare is $1,000 a month. You start to think about shit like that. And then you like, and then you see so many women. It's so sad, man. Like, especially like milestone birthdays, like 30. If you if they 30 and they ain't what, where they want to be in life, or even the guys not guys ain't so much, but women, they not where they want to be in life, relationship-wise, or having a man, or marriage-wise, or kids, it's really tough for y'all. And, and I'm not saying that as a man, like, oh, I told y'all, oh, it's gonna be tough. Y'all ain't find a man, or oh, a man biological clock is different. It's tough for y'all for the certain aspect of that 30, them, them, them Thanksgivings, them Christmases, as far as women, y'all families are so hard on y'all. They sit y'all down and have talks. So what's going on? When are you going to find this man? When are you going to do this? Then they start comparing your friends. Such and such has this guy. Such and such has this job. Such and such is married. Such and such found a nice guy. She found a nice guy at the church. All of that shit start to play a factor. And especially if you're still living at home. You know, it it's tough. I've seen it. I've heard it. I've seen women, instead of being happy around their birthdays, they get depressed because oh, I'm getting older. Oh, I'm getting this. Oh, the hell. I don't even I don't even think I really want children. And it's some women that really feel that way. And it's some women that just haven't found the right one. And, I, and my hat's off to y'all, too, for just not going out there and becoming a baby mama. Shit, you know what I mean? That takes a lot of effort, you know, or or finding a guy that got a lot of money or a good job and he knocks you down and a mistake happens and you're like, I'm going to keep it. He got a good job. I'm going to just hit him for his pockets. Like, you know what I'm saying? A two-parent household and, and, and or at least two parents being there is, a, is essential, man. It's very important. So she doesn't understand that yet as a, as a 23, man. She said the man going to keep coming. <laughs> Little do you know. <laughs> They might keep coming, but they just gonna keep coming in other ways, like for your body, and then keep coming that way. But not wanting a relationship and wanting long term shit with you, and especially, you know, she's slim, she young. Some of y'all don't work out at all. You you if you don't work out at all, y'all not in the gym and y'all not getting it in part of a run club or a gym rat or getting it in. That body not staying like that forever. And I've seen women body change, and that's cool too. But sometimes your body changes and then you still think you deserve the same caliber or the same type of man. No. Like, if I lose myself, I let myself go, I'm going to understand respectfully the same. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be able to pull or wouldn't be able to get or wouldn't be able to bag or wouldn't be able to entertain the same type of women. If I fall off and I become homeless, I, I wouldn't walk around and still think I should be in this place and all women should still. No. It don't happen like that. So park the whip or flip it somewhere else because it's boring. I'm over it. 
the conversation is still boring. The men are still going to come mm. that are not boring mm. and are creative mm. because I'm going to create some beautiful things mm. and they're going to come create it with me. Okay. Period. Yeah, yeah. Our next Enjoy topic that Enjoy we're going over um, is actually it. one of our couples Please. that ended up matching on the show and their catch up was one of the most talked about catch ups. Um, let's go ahead and see why. Let's take a look. I believe it. We had kind of like went over like what the ideal first date would be in the mm -hmm. episode yeah. on episode four. If you were to go ahead and take her out on a date, well, where would you take her? What would be your first date? Uh, to be honest, uh, it's like a rooftop. I'm big on like sunset type of views, but uh, it's a nice restaurant. I believe it's called like Pamela or something like that. They got like f nice fire pits and the food there is really nice. So, uh, you know, type of vibe. <laughs> Did you guys go to a rooftop? We did not go to a rooftop. Yo, this no. was the funniest follow-up ever. That damn speaker and that car shit. Okay, okay. So what was the first day? Where'd you guys end up going? So <clears throat> we went to a movie. He okay. turns up the music on a Bluetooth speaker that's sitting in the middle console Cooked. of where we are. Like yeah. You know what I'm saying? A Bluetooth speaker. A big box. He got cooked. Hey, you Bluetooth didn't go down like that, huh? He big got one. cooked. Hey, what you got to do? The real big hey, You know what I'm saying? Like, don't try to, don't try to do me. Like, it was AMC Theater. Mm -hmm. We had chicken strips that was warmed up in a microwave. Like, and I'm not trying to be funny. I have no, no issues with eating chicken strips. That's not the point. My hey, point my, is. Hey, my fault you chose chicken strips. Now, see that shit I told you. The fact that she's saying that it was uncomfortable or wasn't what she expected, that was the time for her to make her exit, right? But what she choose to do? Stay. Sit and watch that movie. Sit and eat the chicken tenders. Bruh. Okay, then. Let's be real, right? That's what you they said. Let's be real. Right? He's still talking shit in between the clips. Right. <laughs> hey, now. Let's be real, right? Talk about it. So, it's my first question. Oh, you got the uh, stereo fixed yet? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> You get in that big car radio, hit that power button on that radio, that radio gonna say. Oh, uh, listen, I ain't gotta fix that. Ain't bothering me. I am who I am. Fuck where you go. Know. Okay. And then I think a question that was coming up a lot was like, a rooftop, isn't that just a restaurant? Like, what did scheduling have to do Jesus. with going to a rooftop? So that was the biggest thing for me. Like, I ain't gonna lie, because I thought, like, in the question that you asked, how you phrased it, I thought that you said, like, where I typically like to take other females. I see now that you said where I like to take her. Mm -hmm. And it's still typically, because I didn't say I was gonna take her there. But <laughs> rooftop became an issue because of one transportation and time. Like, I tried to go to, uh, I don't forget the name of the rooftop, but also I mentioned Pomelo. That's not even a rooftop, it's just a nicer restaurant. Mm -hmm. I tried both of those before we came to an agreement. So, in actuality, his ass never even been to them restaurants. Talking about the food really good there. He talking about the restaurant on the rooftop. It ain't even the right restaurant. He just saying anything, bro. They probably was calling his ass out. The locals that's from Arizona was probably calling his ass out in the comments. And I think that's hilarious. On AMC, like, you know, she wanted to, she didn't have a problem with it. When we were one-on-one, -on -one, the stuff she was telling me was totally different than the stuff in the interview, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I know a bunch of people that go to AMC, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't Chicago. choose the chicken strip. She did. I chose something better. So, that's so was it like the time slots? They didn't have reservation spots? Or I, I guess I'm trying to understand what was preventing you guys from going to a restaurant. It's basically her availability. Like, she li one lives across town, mm -hmm. a good 30-minute commute. But it was more than 30 minutes. I'll just put it at 30 minutes. But I'm picking her up. I don't mind, but... I'm not going to just work around her time. I'm a man. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm involved in that I'm doing and I'm going to communicate it. So if I feel like you're not trying to meet me halfway, we're just going to make it. It's going to make it work. It's going to be what it is. Like, I'm not going to stress about it. And that's, you know, I'm going to be real during the interaction one on one. Okay. Okay. So the movies was like near her, I'm guessing you said she's a little bit further away. So it was just, yeah, it was definitely on her side because what we ain't finna come to her side and then go back to a different side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gas money. But yeah, it was just more convenient uh, to, uh, in an overall view mm -hmm. for as far as time and just different stuff that she's doing. She's in photography. She does different stuff as far as with school dropping, like with kids, you know, so we try to work, make it work, you know? So. Yeah. And I don't know if um, all the matches that. Hey man, you need to get up. You need to get a fan or something. I know it's hot in there. It's all right, but you need a fan. Y'all not standing up. Just, just vibe. 
Just get a fan. You know what I mean? Get you a little fan, like one of them joints fans like that, or one of them little fans, some small fans with the batteries in it that the girls take to the clubs. I came after you got it like a rolling joke going on, but it seems like everybody's going to rooftop now after they match. Hey, because <laughs> what's up with that, man? Like, did we set the tone or something like that? You didn't even go. Yeah, <laughs> still, we talked about it. it. It can still be a tone set, you know what I'm saying? You got you got and it wasn't my fault we ain't go, so yeah, what's your point? Go. Okay, okay. And so, um, to open up to everyone else, like, how do you guys think, you know, from what you saw from the catch up, do you think she was wrong for coming out and saying those things all about no. the date? No, and, and respectfully, if you're going to take a woman on a first date, a movies would not be the first thing to do. You want to do something interactive. Y'all can have some dialogue. I got to side with my good sis on this one because ain't no way. A, a movie date is something you do when you're established or you've been on a couple dates. And chicken tennis, sir. If you wanted to, he would, to an extent. If you really wanted to take her to that rooftop, you could have. Did you order for her? Thank you. Like, you know, she, she ordered talking about your out there for her, but she ain't she ain't share how we had to freaking like nah. make a whole plan. He said he didn't want to, so he didn't. I mean, I mean if she, she said listen, she was she was listen, if she ain't at the party and that's it. If she ain't rooftop, that's what she ain't rooftop. Is this that? Simple. I'm just say I appreciate your effort. Okay. How how you gonna say man pursue then say well she can't meet me so, halfway so like she did she didn't because it's preference at the end of the day that's what we've been talking about all the whole episode that's she, your preference when you responded just now that was your preference that was her preference she should have stated that and as soon as she opened the door and seen my Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, <so> yeah. <laughs> hey, that boy cook boy that boy cook. Hey, that boy cooked and he don't see nothing he do wrong. That shit is awful. Uh, oh, it's, I, that I, it's that simple. It's that simple. She gave me a chance. Out here like, no, gave me a chance. Yes, but then, but me, I like, think... then one on one, if we're talking a certain way, then you get an interview and you're trying to embarrass me. I get it. I get it. She's basically saying she was vibing with my dog 1v1. But then she got to the interview and online she started acting a little funny and shit. She probably embarrassed. She ain't one of her friends. No, she was out there with a Bluetooth speaker, dude. That, what she said? No, she was trying to. It didn't, when? It didn't work. During that? Just, that's the only thing that she tried to talk about my speaker, right? She tried to embarrass me. I mean, it's other shit she said, too, that I'm not even going to comment on. She came for me in a couple, a lot of different things, right? Mm. But the Bluetooth speaker was the one thing. Like, yeah, I had that shit in my car. I'm being real. You know, I pulled up with it, you know? In your interview, you said everything and kept it so real. And you gave reasons why you had the Bluetooth speaker. You gave the backstory for everything. You still went to her side. You still did everything that you could. Pay for the day. Everything. She didn't pay for nothing, y'all. At all. She paid for the parking. trying to go 50 I ain't forget. Out. You didn't even say that. So, you ain't had no I card. Mean, I appreciate your effort. So, anyone have any final words? Any final thoughts? Man, get these people out of there. Let they hide. to you and your husband on the growth of this show. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah, that part. Yeah, that part. Congratulations. <laughs> and thank you to the team, the producers. This I'm new here. I don't know about everybody else, but everything's been extremely interesting yeah. and i want all the ladies to smell my perfume before we leave <laughs> but you made, made it. it i made it yeah, oh, hey. yeah i made it i got oh. it right here uh, arlette 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 let me tell you something arlette they gotta start cutting you a check for advertisement you're doing a million views an episode right i don't know what this gonna do but this little 30 second plug she about to do you need you need at minimum 10 racks 20 racks. <laughs> they got to start cutting your check. I'm letting you know. I'm so excited. Okay, come on, Marcus. It's a cute little package. It's a cute little package. I thought that was one of them butthole toys. Yo. I'm excited. Oh. Very, hey, very creative, okay? <laughs> oh, she's bringing it up. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your ass out of here. There's, there's a... Yeah. One of the qualms that I have. And things like that, so... I'm excited for it to go on the shelves. Okay. <laughs> Is anyone else? Any final words? Final thoughts? Uh, campaign just now. I'll say something. Yeah. One of the qualms that I have, I like that you like to use that word qualms. Um, Thank you. A lot of the women who have matched, there's, there's a kind of a continuity of the similar story. Mm. None of them are. Let's go one right here. Are Let's go two right here receptive to the effort that any of the men are putting into trying look at her face look at the body language yes 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 I love this shit I like trying to go on dates trying to have conversations look at the body language she's rocking they're not willing to listen they're not willing there so it does come off 
it, it seems like there's ulterior motives to being on here. And mm -hmm. I didn't, I, I wanted this show to end mm -hmm. well, but mm -hmm. in this, in that kind of situation where we're now having to promote a perfume. Ooh. <laughs> yes! It feels like a disservice to the show. Look at the faces. I told Faces. Yes, yes. And it feels all, always like a disservice when I like they just on there to promote themselves, bruh. And so and it, I told you it'd be the woman they on there. Oh, I got a few new followers. Oh, some new guys in my DMs. Come on. I had a girl hit me up. I was like, oh, I want to be on the show. Can my boyfriend come? I said, I said, first of all, no guests, but why would you want to come on a show and you got a boyfriend? Oh, cause for my followers. You you shout out people. Oh no, nah, stay home, baby. That ain't what I'm on. Oh, I'm trying to come on your show. How much do you pay? Because these dudes be paying the girls for 20 V1s and paying the people. I don't want no, no, this, I'm trying to really help y'all like find connections. Like even if you don't want to look like, like find somebody you really want to date type shit. No, thank you. See you later. Whenever people come in with ill intentions or, or you're not sure what the intention intentions are altogether. Because if we say we're going to do something, if we come on the show, we have good intentions, then we need to see it. And through. he dealt with the same shit with his match too. She didn't care, just was BSing around and wasted his time. And not only are y'all wasting his t their time, you wasting Arlette time. And I know how y'all feel about Arlette. Trust, y'all be in my comments. And y'all wasting our time viewing this shit. One date is anyone can go on a date. I'm, if I'm willing to fly somewhere, there should at least be the... That should be honor, honor in that decision. Mm -hmm. So I think that maybe that's a... I'm not doing no more follow-ups unless they go on a date. And I'm, I, two companies reached out to me on mine. They're going to they, they sponsor the first date, but they want me to do some shit. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm not, it's not my date. I won't be there. And I'm trying to have some shit out and work some shit out. But they're going to do $100 vouchers. I'm not going on. I'm not doing no more follow-ups unless they hung out. If they ain't hang out, y'all don't see them. If they ain't hang out, y'all ain't going to see them. There it is. Lesson for the people who want to join the show moving on to the, the next season. There are people here who have true intentions. There are people here who are searching for something. And I think that we have to stay true to that altogether. So I don't... Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at laughing. I, I mean, shouting out Instagrams, tagging this person, not tagging that person. Those aren't conversations that we need to have when we're talking about finding love. Yeah. We need to be concise and we need to be certain of what we're looking for. Yes, sir. Hey. 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 Yes, sir. Looking for There's some other ones out here that ain't make the reunion, but that's facts to play the game properly. And so with that, there, there shouldn't be any need to tear people down. There shouldn't be any need to, this going back and forth, it serves no purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, but I understand the conversation, but we can have disagreements and still be civil. Thank all of you. us here, we've, Thank you. I agree. we've, we've, we've you said go. hello to each other. We're all civil. Right. Right. We're just, these are just opinions. Yeah. Exactly. No one should be right. No one should be wrong. Everyone should be entitled to that. All, right, all right, all right, wrap it up now. So I just wanted to make sure that that was said out loud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I hope Video I hope three you hours. I got something great. I want to add. Uh, camera, if you could zoom in, please. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, gracias. Uh -oh. um, although I ain't no auntie. Uh-oh. But if you got an uncle. Okay, <laughs> now. A father. <laughs> hell, even a grandpa. Tell him, come see about me. And on a for real, for real too, to all my ladies who consider themselves to be curvier or heavier or plus size, mid size, whatever, please don't let what people say about you on the internet or so forth or the things you see discourage you from dating. Y'all, they love us anyway, exactly. uh, on the camera and off, but they try Amen. to act like they don't, but Amen. that's all I wanted to say. Amen. But yeah. Amen. I definitely got something to add to that. I saw comments and stuff on there, like it's like a little war going on between the men and the women. I know that BM and all the are definitely not on here to do that. Just because we're getting, they're getting the tea on the dates and the different stuff that happens, it doesn't mean there has to be a war. Like like he was saying, it has to be thrown shade. It's basically just to see like it's really two different types of people in the world. You got people that really are for the material and like to be seen and like and, you know everybody likes what they like. And you got people that are really just real and genuine, don't really care about all the extra stuff. So you know just distinguish between the, what you want and like he said, know what you want. You know when first mm -hmm. coming in because that's crucial. I would not like to leave y'all truck drivers with a bad taste in y'all. Oh, you better fix yeah. it up. Look, look, look. She like, girl, whatever. Girl, bye. Don't try to fix this shit up now. <laughs> first things first, I respect any man who's working, period. Regardless of how you're working. They must, they must, they must have pulled you aside. Y'all must have had a bathroom break. 
You might not be compatible for every woman, but it's respected. Mm. It might be boring to some, it might be exciting to some, but they're entitled to that. that we face. respect you working. It's just not for everybody. Mm. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, I want to thank everyone for coming on. You know, it was nice to hear everyone's opinions. You know, hear your thoughts. See how you Wrap know these catch up. See how it's going. So, thank you, everyone. I uh, appreciate y'all rocking with me for another video. Smash that like, subscribe to this already. Check out the two videos that's popping up right now. Episode one, episode two, episode three is dropping tomorrow. So it's content on top of content, man. And tomorrow will be a premiere. It's going to drop around uh, 5 p.m. All right, 5 p.m. It'll be a premiere on my main channel. Come through. It was a, about 1,000 people that came through last time. We had a phenomenal time. I'm looking forward for y'all seeing F3. I think this is my best episode yet. Uh, it, it got a little toxic, but it was still productive, and we might have found love here and there. So we'll see what happens. Appreciate y'all. I respect all the new subscribers and everybody who rock with me, and and can't wait for my my reviews. Sorry, this was so long winded. Shit, longer than a Titanic movie. I'm out of here.